local succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. If GiveMeTheVin.com can't beat your CarMax offer, they will pay you $100 period. GiveMeTheVin.com will show up at your house, check in hand, and they'll pay off your payoff. It's that easy. GiveMeTheVin.com is five-star rated by the Better Business Bureau. Now is the time to sell your car, truck, or exotic at GiveMeTheVin.com. Selling your vehicle is simple, fast, and easy. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. Oh. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. Bike Week is here. Make Orlando Harley-Davidson part of your Bike Week plans. Orlando Harley-Davidson has the largest selection of new and pre-owned Harley-Davidson motorcycles in the state of Florida. Make sure to stop at Orlando Harley-Davidson during Bike Week. Enjoy food, exclusive merchandise, pinstriping, tattoos, music, a full bar, and so much more. Visit OrlandoHarley.com for a full list of motorcycle inventory and Orlando Bike Week details. Stop by the Orlando Harley-Davidson dealership right off I-4 across from the mall at Millennia. We are professional grade at Orange Buick GMC. Online at orangebuickgmc.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. The news junkie is on. The three best friends you never knew you had. Running through the most viral stories of the day. The news junkie Sean Wasson with Sabrina and c Wednesday, March 6, 2024. Lots to get to today. From Trump versus Biden, who wins? To Five Guys is about to explode in a drama tornado hit Sesame Street. Plus your calls, dispatches, emails, texts, and more. Sabrina is out for a moment. Hello, c What's happening? And hello to you. You can join us on the show today. All you have to do is send us a dispatch. Go over to the news 
DiceJunkie.com and hit record on your first dispatch today. You can also watch the show on YouTube and Twitch.tv slash The News Junkie. Your message is rolling right into the studio in real time. And how's everybody doing on a Wednesday? Doing good. Looking forward to some Fritz on the Street dominance. It's going to yeah. be a good time. No dominance, but definitely Fritz on the Street. Well, I am going to be. Dominance. I'm winning this week, baby. I can feel it. Uh, Sabrina is on assignment for realsies this time. She uh, is out doing some stuff promoting uh, the Just Okay event next Saturday, March 16th. Mm-hmm. She will be back within the hour, um, as far as I know. She'll be back within the hour. She's just trying to get out there and hawk some tickets. And if you're kind enough, now's a great time to buy them. You know, do that. At, at the very least, you could just hang out with us on March 16th for Just Okay. She better be back soon, but the longer she takes the more snacks she needs to have with her. Yeah, you want some some snacks when she comes in? (laughs) The the longer it takes you to get here, Sabrina, the more, you know, little little sliders or some Uh some breakfast sandwiches. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You got to have all the good stuff to make things right. Uh, I know I barely made it in myself this morning because I had a doctor's appointment. I said, let me schedule this, and I'll schedule for early enough. Oh, you did that in the morning? Yeah, yeah. I said, I got plenty of time. That's not normal for you. No, I don't usually like any kind of interruption before the show. I'm all interruption after the show kind of guy. And so I go, all right, I'll just do this. So we've got plenty of time to get on live and do the show. And then I'm sitting there at the doctor's office. And they go, okay, you're done with this. So we've got to check you out. And we've got to check you back in so you could do your blood work. And Check um, you out and check you back in. I don't know, man. I don't know what was going on there. They were just like, I think it's weird because now I have two... <sighs> Oh God! Like, who two- writes these these procedures? <laughs> I don't know. Like uh, I, I don't know, man. Like I, I I remember well the last time I went to the doctor, it was just for like a follow up, mm-hmm. and so that's all that that is what I scheduled for a follow up. Right. Like, that is the amount of time that I put towards this, and uh and they they took forever, and they were waiting for over an hour. And then after the follow up, she was like. I was like, why didn't you take these numbers? She goes, oh, we, we can take your blood after this. I go, I don't have time for that, lady. Yeah, you had I got to You had hour. You made me wait in the waiting room, and now I, I don't have time for anything else. Exactly. You're preaching to the choir here. This is exactly what happened to me this morning. And I now have two, two terribly awkward questions that I have to answer when I'm at a doctor's office. One is when they go, what do you do for a living? And if you're in media at all, you generally just lie about this. But sometimes I feel bad about lying. And so I'll go, I'm the radio guy. And then they always, oh, really? you're going to talk about us today? The lady taking my blood, my phlebotomist, if you will, was like, you're going to talk about us on the show? And I'm like, oh, no, probably not. And the other one for <laughs> me you now. you definitely are. The other one for me now that I've realized is when they go, any family history of medical issues? And I have to say, um, well, my mom had cancer and my dad had cancer. And they'd be like, uh, are they still with us? And I'd be like, no, they both died. And they're like, oh, God, I'm so sorry for your loss. And I'm like, well, it's, you know, it's been a while now. It's I've processed all of this. It's a little awkward to have to go through that. Each, each like medical professional that comes into the room, ask that again. And then we go yeah. through that process again. And that's <laughs> another thing. Like, can um, can we, the, the, the amount of redundancy in both the paperwork, like, don't give me a stack of papers and I have to put my address on every one of them. Uh-huh. You yeah, know, we could fix there's that. We, there, we can consolidate that. And then the fact that I have filled out the paperwork and you're now asking me the questions that I just I just did. Yeah. You know. I, and a like, nurse I, I, practitioner. And then like somebody who was like the understudy for the doctor and then the doctor and then passed me off to the phlebotomist. It was a four people, four uh, the team member strike team helping me <laughs> you, out with my else. You get your insurance card and your credit card out to go check out. And the lady's like, um, mm, uh, your parents alive. <laughs> you know what I like? I like how you're really typing stuff to do the sound effects and typing stuff so I could see all, all right. of the random things popping yeah, up on your screen. I think I'm on history now. <laughs> Oops. All right, let's put our ears to the ground, our fingers on the pulse, and see what's happening in this great big wide world of ours. And we go to Las Vegas, Nevada, friends. All right. Man in Las Vegas thought he would check in and get a nice Vegas hotel, maybe do some gambling. He got more than he bargained for. Here's what happened. Oh. I have a scorpion over there. 
Just hanging on my underwear. Hold on, let me let me turn this up a little bit. Well, I don't know why all these he Twitter said, videos are so quiet. He was in Every, shock. He was in shock. He said he had a, a scorpion on his underwear. I, I think I might have this louder now. I put my eyeglasses, then I was in shock. Then I have a scorpion over there, just hanging on my underwear. Michael Farchi says the scorpion attacked in the middle of the night as he Farty. was sound asleep at the Palazzo at the Venetian in Vegas. Nice place. I woke up with a sharp pain in my private area. Oof. I was surprised. I didn't know what is that. I reached my hand to, uh, to see what's happening over there under the cover, and I just got um, another sharp pain. Another so sharp he goes oh. to see what's going on. And the scorpion that's biting his testicles or stinging his testicles, I should say, is still there and ready to go. And so and when he's, he and he's stinging his, over and over again. Yeah, yeah, he's like bam, 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 just firing away. I've had oh. something similar to this happen to me. Oh my god, you've been stung by a scorpion? No, I've never, I've never knock on all the wood uh, encountered a scorpion like that. But I've had, I think it was a mosquito, but it could have been an ant. But it was something mm. that was like bite crazy. Stuck in my underwear. Oh no! And would it just go on for it? Just bite, 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 bite over was, and over. It, it was like it wasn't like rapid fire, but it was like bite and then bite and, and like and I didn't know what was going on. And um, thank God, I was just walking across the street from my friend's house to my childhood home. Mm -hmm. So because I was like every time I'd, I was like stopping and grabbing myself in the middle of the the road. Like, oh the, like, God. <laughs> <laughs> crossing the street and just grabbing my my crotch yeah. in pain and like trying to dig out whatever's in there. Yeah, well this guy he starts frothing at the mouth, right? Uh, the the folks from the hotel crash open the door to his room. He's now crawling on his his knees and he makes his way across the room and he says I'm dying and then just like sputters a couple of things and falls flat in and dies in the in the room. What? In the hotel. Yeah. No, no none of that happened actually. <laughs> I was like, how, how are they interviewing him? Wait a second. You almost had me. None of that happened. He just he reached down to try to see what was happening with the scorpion, and that son of a bitch just kept getting him over and over and over again. Scorpion. The venomous creature stinging Farchi three to four times. The medical report clearly shows the focus of the injury. It happened December 26th while Farchi and his family were enjoying a holiday Farchie. vacation at the Venetian. Farchie, Archie. Farchie now suing the high-end hotel for the Sin City Stinger. He says he still has some ongoing medical issues due to the traumatizing attack. Okay. Can, can you sue a hotel yes. for something getting in there? Hell yeah. Wow. He says, I expected that this room was going to be free and clear of all of the possible scorpions that would be stinging my testicles. Nowhere in the uh, documentation of reserving your room did they say that it would be free of scorpions. Well, this guy wanted that at the very uh, least. That's what the, like, the, the next uh, casino over should be starting to go like, hey. Come to us. With, you get a hundred dollar credit at the uh, at the poker table and no scorpions. Yeah, that's a big plus. Staying in Vegas needs to be exposed to deadly scorpions while they're sleeping, let alone on their private areas, their testicles. True. Yeah, you would expect a little bit more from your hotel than to get that sort of reaction in your room. But there goes. He's doing okay. I lied about the dying part. Um, we had a big, big day yesterday. Super. Tuesday, everybody. All the voting was going on. Such a surprising outcome. I mean, huge surprise. Yeah, nobody could have seen this coming. And here we are. I mean, with, if, if you were like waking up and going, you know, I really thought things were going to be different. <laughs> What's happening here? It's it's just like predicted all along. We are now to the to the inevitable, right? To the conclusion that everybody had arrived at months ago. And then where uh, Nikki it's Haley, Trump. You know, Nikki Haley dropped out uh, today. She did. She uh, did. And she, she gave like a speech this morning in her home state of uh, South Carolina of uh, or in Charleston. And I thought she should have done it in one of those places she won, like D.C. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, my favorite part was they said Biden lost one of the places, but he lost American Samoa. And they were like, uh, Biden loses the delegates in American Samoa to Jason Johnston. And Ooh. they go, 
And the, the people on MSNBC or CNN, whichever one it was, were literally like, I, we have no idea who this person is. <laughs> we have, find out who won American Samoa. Because whoever won that, it was like, uh, he gets the delegates. And we're even the people who are the news hosts on a cable news channel had no idea who this guy was. He I can't in. even filter by American Samoa. That's where it was. That's where he took in some of the delegates. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. It's all a joke. Jason Palmer. Jason Palmer, that guy who you've not heard of until today, he gets like a couple of delegates, but it's it's been the foreseen inevitable conclusion. You got Biden and you got Trump. Who's going to win? Right. That's it. That's where we're at. Haley was this last one trying to hang in there. Here she is saying goodbye, I guess. In all likelihood, Donald Trump will be the Republican nominee when our party convention meets in July. Shock. I congratulate him. Uh, and wish him well. Oh, ooh. I wish anyone well who would be America's president. Our country is Except too precious to let our differences divide us. I have always Bro, been there a is conserv- no energy in this room that she's in right That's now. That's why I'm saying she should have done it somewhere that where they liked her. Are there human beings there? I There's, don't know. I don't even hear like a pitter patter of of people in the background. You know what else you don't hear? Um, uh, shutters like uh, like pictures being taken. Yeah, there's nothing. There's no no Republican and always supported the Republican nominee. But on this question, as she did on so many others, Margaret Thatcher provided some good advice when she said, quote, never just follow the crowd. Always make up your own mind. Okay. It is now up to Donald Trump to earn the votes of those in our party and beyond it who did not support him. And I hope he does that. Uh, Does she really, though? You know, you always say these things, but do you really feel that way? Well, let us know what you think, because now it's down to it. You only got two people to choose from. You really only did from the beginning, but they did the whole pretend thing and made you feel like you had a choice in the matter. Here we are down to either Joe Biden, super old, or Trump, also super old, old and indicted. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> both these people who, yeah, I, the average regular person, the normie, is like, oh, God, these two again? Damn. You know, this is not what I was looking for. Wasn't excited about that. Man, but, American Samoa is out there, huh? It is, yeah. Further than Hawaii. It's like it's Hawaii. like Guam. Nobody knows anything about Guam. Guam's a funny place. Uh, it, there's nobody that knows anything <laughs> about, about Guam. There was a guy one time, you might be able to YouTube this, Elaine, and he, I don't know if he was losing his mind or something, but he was a politician. If you look up politician Guam, flip over, and this guy was like, look, we've got to help out Guam because the it's going to flip over. The, like the oh. island's going to flip over. <laughs> a, a Georgia congressman says he fears additional residents could cause Guam to topple. To t- Later, to he t- says t- it was over. a joke. Yeah, wait. See if see if you can find the video because the way that that dude the said Cooper, it. AC three sixty CNN weeknights ten Eastern. Come on, get that promo in. Happened in Planet Washington. I actually thought this this was kind of an April Fool's joke when I saw it today, but it's not. It took place last week in a House Armed Services Committee hearing discussing a military buildup on the island of Guam. Here's Georgia Congressman Hank Johnson. Listen. All right, here he goes. This is a uh, island that at its widest level is what 12 miles from shore to shore and at a smallest level uh, or smallest uh, uh, Uh. location it's uh, seven miles uh, between one shore and the other sound like he's joking yet? is that correct? Uh, I don't have the exact uh, dimensions but uh, to your point sir I think Guam is a small island. Very small is. island and about 24 miles, if I recall, long. <laughs> so <what is laughs> so long, he, he's changing his, his uh, facts, wide, and Anderson Cooper's been like writing this down on a board and then wiping, <laughs> wiping a clean down, slate <laughs> and rewriting. He's like, oh, wait, about now it's not 12, it's 24. Wide, uh, uh, Get to the capsizing the guy. Of the island. And... Um, I don't know how many square miles oh that, my God. that is. Dude, you... I'm, I'm, I'm tapping out. <laughs> That's what people think of Guam. That's about how much people know about Guam right now. But thank you for your votes, Guam. Thanks for participating in the uh, election. American Samoa, and they're saying that this is like the first 
incumbent president to lose a primary in 44 years. And I go, do we count in this loss? Yeah. Well, Biden had some more of these uncommitted vote protests against him in, uh, where was this? I think that was in Minnesota, um, where some of those came in. And uh, in Colorado, we saw some more. There was a couple of people who did that. Everybody's going to have to follow in line because you only got two choices. That's it, friends. Okay, when we come back, we're going to hear from you. Plus, we're going to get down to a huge change that is pissing people off. It's happening at one of your favorite places to shop. What's going down? You're going to find out. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Something on your mind? Text us at 77031. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. Clausmanlaw.com. Doing a quick checkup on some of the major roadways. Authorities are clearing up an accident southbound on Florida's Turnpike approaching I-4. You could expect your regular delays on I-4 between U.S. 27 and approaching Sand Lake Road. It's pretty mellow around the perimeter of I-4. Traffic is up to speed on State Road 429 and the Greenway. But if you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident and would like to know the value of your case, go to ForThePeople.com to see cases just like yours. You see, all lawyers are not the same. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Hey, what's good, guys? This is Angel from the Monsters. You guys know I love to cook on my Big Green Egg. Why? It's impressive, and everything turns out great on the Big Green Egg. If you don't have one, you got to go to Wasi's Meat Market and get a Big Green Egg. They have the lowest prices in the country. They also have all the accessories, everything that you need. They have the classroom set up so you can teach you the basic techniques on the Big Green Egg and advanced techniques on the Big Green Egg as well. When you get the Big Green Egg from Wasi's Meat Market, there's a lifetime guarantee, so check them out. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Check them on Instagram or go to their website, wassiesmeatmarket.com in Melbourne on Wickham Road. It's Wasi's Meat Market. The World Poker Tour is taking over an entire Virgin Voyages luxury cruise ship for a week of sun, fun, and most of all, world-class poker tournaments. WPT Voyage departs from Miami on March 31st for six days at sea with a full slate of poker tournaments, including our $5,000 buy-in main tour event with a million-dollar guarantee. The Adult Only Cruise will stop in Grand Cayman and the Bahamas for golf, tennis and pickleball events. Cap and start at just $1,500 per person, so book yours today on WPTVoyage.com. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawontwait.com. Paid for by government.com. Here's your chance to get five iconic United States silver dollars spanning the last 150 years in one amazing set. Experts agree this is a must-have for silver coin buyers. That's right. All five silver dollars are legal tender official United States mint coins. If you call 1-800-973-9717 right now, we'll send you this ultimate five-piece American silver dollar set with each silver coin in extremely fine or brilliant uncirculated condition. Guaranteed. This set includes every type of U.S. silver dollar in American history issued from 1878 to 2024. Call 1-800-973-9717 now to secure your 150 years of U.S. silver dollars five-piece set. Plus, receive a bonus display case, an information booklet, and free shipping. Don't miss your chance. Call 1-800-973-9717 now to secure your five-piece set of iconic U.S. silver dollars before they are gone. That's 1-800-973-9717. Want to introduce yourself? 
Yeah, I'm Owen. I'm a cigarette. Do you like being a cigarette? No, I don't. Not really into killing thousands of people. Sorry, no filter. Right. What's your sign? Uh, Pisces? I'm a cancer. Cigarette joke. But seriously, I do cause cancer. And heart disease. And strokes. I could go on forever. Unlike the people who smoke me. The average smoker lives 10 years less than non-smokers. Quit today. Find out how at TobaccoFreeFlorida.com. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800 200 2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. iHeart Podcast Update. This week on your free iHeart Radio app. Math and Magic. Stories from the frontiers of marketing with Bob Pittman, Season 6. Join iHeart Media Chairman and CEO as he analyzes the math and magic of marketing, sitting down with today's most gifted disruptors. Marketing School, digital marketing and online marketing tips. Actionable digital marketing lessons learned through years of being in the trenches. Office Hours with Mike Stive. Mike sits down with the world's most important chief executives to answer your most pressing questions about leadership, career, and life. Hear these podcasts and more on your free iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Look to Orange Buick GMC for your next truck at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Real! Join in on the chaos. We eagerly await your dispatch. This. By the way, those are down right now, just for a moment. I'll, I'll put them back up in a segment or two. What are uh, uh, the dispatches? You know, oh. It's like, I've got 5,000 things going on this week because, of course, it's the week before Just OK 8. So, yes, you know, this is the week where, like, I'm uh, doing work on the firewall and the website, and I'm oh, doing yeah. excellent. It's like 8,000 things going on, trying to figure out. A, it's just this is how it always goes, right? It's, I just got to get used to it, I guess. Always some kind of nonsense. Um, but I'll put those back up in just a moment so you can uh, check them out. Tips at the news junkie.com and Michelle emails and she says, Hey, Sean, Sabrina, Christopher, and Fritzy, she says, as Fritz will be in momentarily for Fritz on the street today. I'm listening to the podcast on iHeart regarding the use of disposable cameras and having the film developed. We talked about this yesterday for a bit. Well, this might be embarrassing, but back in the day, I used to work in the photo lab at Publix. Do they even have those anymore at the grocery store? They even do pictures? Uh, I don't know if Publix has it. I I remember like my local Albertsons had uh, had the photo lab. Mm-hmm. Right. I remember uh, not that long ago. I think a week or two weeks ago, Cordy and I were driving along, and there was a guy, and I assume his wife. And they were on the sidewalk, and she was, like, posing in front of something. And I go, look at this dude. He's actually got, like, a digital camera. Like, he's got the physical digital camera Mm -hmm. that everybody had for a hot minute. And then all of a sudden, phones became the cameras. And now, like, 99% of photography, I would guess, is taken straight from people's cell phones. We don't need to develop it. We don't need any of this. All has been changed, right? 
is that we have we had machines that would run the developed photos up the side of the machine where there was a window that ran from the floor to the top of the machine and the photos were flipped out into a pile. Not sure if I painted the picture really well. Imagine a big rectangular machine, maybe 12 feet long, four feet wide and four feet tall. On the end of the rectangle, it was completely clear, showing the track that carried the photos from the developer basin of the chemical uh, on, on the inside of the machine up the side and to the top where I could grab the photos. So, yes, anyone walking by the machine, coworkers, customers, anybody else could see the actual photos as they went on this journey. Pretty sure the same machines were used at Walgreens and CVS as well. Oops, somebody else saw your photos besides the giggling girls, says Michelle. Well, thank you for that. Yes, that's true. I just imagined that was the case, you know, from front to back. Um, and, and, and that's just the way things go for me, just like this dispatch thing. Uh, okay, I'm not going to bitch too much about it. I'm going to tell you this instead. I think there is one person on the show that is a bona fide, full-fledged, damn, I might be wrong on this. The more I get into it, the more I'm thinking I might be wrong. Mm-hmm. Costco member, question mark? Yeah, yeah, I, uh, my wife is. Okay, you're not still operating on the outskirts, though, like you were for some time. There. No, no, there was a time where we were, you know, borrowing a membership. So much mm-hmm. like you would do to, like, a Netflix or an HBO. Yeah. You could do it at Costco. And they were like everything else, they shut the ability to do that down. Hate this, but that's what they decided to do. I'm kind of curious how much have they shut it down. Like, is uh, like if we tried to do it tomorrow the old way we did it, you know, what would be the, the consequences? Here's the problem. When I last had a Costco card, the photograph on it to, like, ID you was so small and oh, very tiny. tiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was so, like, it's it was t- It's minuscule. tiny. It's in black and white. The resolution's not great. I mean, yeah. and then usually to get in the building, you're just flashing that card at the guy. They want to see that you have a card. They don't, the... They're not stopping everybody to make uh-huh. sure that it's you on the card. And I, you know, I need another form of identification, stuff like that. Well, one of the things that they're doing now, and there are people who are just incensed about this. They are upset that Costco is doing this, is they're making it so you can no longer go to the Costco food court if you're not a member. You're not yeah. able <sighs> I saw, I, saw, I saw somebody talking about that, and I didn't realize that was something you could previously do. Well, I some mean, of I, the places have the food, like, outside, so it was hard to separate the two. And I think some of the newer places might have it inside. But I know, while, it's, always, it's always after the, uh, the, the checkout. So mm-hmm. if you want to eat first, you got to go in the exit and then do that and then kind of go around back around. And it's, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but it, you do it. They're saying that they're closing a major loophole here, right? And what I'm saying is this was inevitable. If Costco and the founders of Costco and the management of Costco, which if you don't know is like a big box store, everything comes in bulk, right? Costco is a fun place. They have a food court. It's a a, um, wholesale. Wholesale, right? Like you get the mayonnaise, but the jar is real big. Uh, Three pounds of sour cream at a time. Everything's sold in like large, large sizes. But they have a food court that's pretty legendary. And at the food court, they have like big slices of pizza. They got big old hot dogs. And you can still to this day get a hot dog and a soda for like $1.50 or something. Or maybe even cheaper than that. I don't know. Uh, it's It's not expensive is the point. But they were letting everybody get in on that, and they said, enough is enough. We're doing it. We're uh, shutting this down, and now you have to have the Costco membership to do it. So it says, in addition to the flagship hot dog, they also have pizza, chicken bakes. I don't even know what that is. Uh, they have so much stuff that they, they in that kitchen that you're just like, you only know it for the hot dog, but there's a whole bunch of random. It's almost like a, a circus in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like it's not fancy. Or a fair. But- it's not trying to be fancy. It's just trying to be affordable. And I used to have my friend's mom used to always take us there on the weekends. and be like, all right, we've got to feed everybody. Where can I do that for not a lot of money? Well, Costco, my friend. Big ass but, fountain drink, big well, old slice of pizza. Well, was your friend's mom a Costco member? Yes, she okay. was. So, yeah. I, I, I'm curious. You know, they made this move to where you have to be a member to get the hot dog now. But I'm like, I wonder how many people are pissed off about this like were there a lot of non-members going just for the hot dogs 
I think there were because it was just that cheap. But you're kind of crazy if you live close enough to a Costco it, just not to get the membership for something like this. Like Number one, yes, you could save insane amounts of money on the cheap-ass food that they have. But even more so, the gas station that they have is crazy good. Like It's way cheaper than anybody else, and you mm-hmm. get it just because you're a member of Costco. Eventually, they'll drive these people all over to subscribers and members, I think. Another uh, thing that's uh, good about Costco, not a lot of people really know about, uh, unless you're really, really into grilling um, that if you if you take your liquid propane tank there, uh-huh. they'll fill it to the top and only charge you for the amount of gas that they just put in there. Those, like that. So typically, if you go to your 7-Eleven, Publix, Walmart, wherever, that has the cage outside of propane tanks, mm-hmm. you're just paying one fee to swap, and no matter how much you have left in there or what if that one's underfilled, you're still paying for, and if you still have gas in the tank, you're losing that gas. Right. So there's a lot of benefits, yeah. man. There's a bunch of stuff that works out if you want to give that a shot. But uh, don't be trying to sneak in there all cheap like to get those sweet deals when you ain't an actual member anymore. The CEO you know, so- of Costco revealed in 2018 that he approached the co-founder about raising the price of the hot dog combo. Uh, they're like, we can't sell this hot dog for a buck fifty. We're losing our rear ends. And the reply was, <laughs> if you raise the effing hot dog, I will kill you. Figure it out. Uh, true. Yes, yeah, that's the problem, right? That's what actually happens here, I think. And uh, we got to make sure that uh, th- that they're staying strong over there. <laughs> it's such a weird thing. To, uh, to, it's such a weird hill to die on. They asked the, C- the, the co-founder, Jim Senegal, if the price of the hot dog ever goes up, what will it mean? And he said that I'm dead. <laughs> right so that's that's good that, that's saying that this guy is really dead set on it and i dig that i like that let us know what you think Go over to the news junkie.com the dispatches are back up and running i see nice. them flooding in right now appreciate you sending those sabrina is back with us yo and, yo uh we got a ton to get into you better get ready for fritz on the street sabrina c lane said he's going to mop the floor with us today okay, I, the whatever. word i use was dominate Dominate, right. right. Well, yeah, then I'm well, going to mop the floor with you guys. All right, bring it. So we'll see how that goes Are we down playing and, another game? Uh, uh, <laughs> whatever, dude. <laughs> we'll see what happened with uh, Sabrina's Adventures this morning. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. It's all coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. This weekend on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast for the rest of our Wednesday. And for today, some of us will see some scattered showers and a few thunderstorms. Some of these could be on the strong side, especially for areas south and east of the Orlando metro. Some of these could also contain some heavy downpours, small hail and gusty winds. Temperatures, though, will be on the warm side throughout this afternoon, climbing into the upper 70s and low 80s for highs. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Marco's Pizza. Try Marco's new cheesy Melty Pizzoli for free when you purchase one large or extra large menu price pizza. One free fully loaded handheld Pizzoli with your Marco's Pizza. Order this slam dunk deal before the clock runs out. Limited time only. Limit to per order. See store or marcos.com for details. Folks, I absolutely love Mills Air and big news about them in just a bit on the actual show. But um, Mills Air is a company that is honest and they're helpful. And it's one of those old fashioned companies that you could just trust. There are so few of those anymore here in 2024. But Mills Air is there to help you with your AC needs. I know you could freak out. It's it's very, very, um, it's, a, it's a thing that's almost tempting to do. When something happens with your AC, you think you're going to get ripped off. You think you're going to get taken to the cleaners. And honestly, it happens a lot because these companies will take advantage of you. But Mills Air is looking for a customer for life. So what you need to do is make sure that you're reaching out to them when there's a problem with your AC. Mills Air has been in business since 1992, so that's over 30 years 
of helping out people just like you. They are a carrier factory authorized dealer. That means they got direct access to big rebates when you get a brand new carrier unit. Like over $1,000, up to $1,275 in rebates. Why would you leave that on the table? You could always turn to the experts at Carrier, and you could always turn to Mills Air. Give them a call, 407-277-1159, or find them online at millsair.com. Save time and money with the PVC Fence in a Box from Fence Outlet. It comes with everything you need for an average backyard of 120 feet starting at 2260. Go to fenceoutlet.com today for more information and store locations. License number C10252 and C10803. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South offers volume discounts for homeowners. The more you buy, the more you save. Our discounts start at the fourth window, and from there, the savings grow. New South can do this because we own our factory, and that's the power of Factory Direct. Visit us at New South window.com paid for by government.com here's your chance to get five iconic united states silver dollars spanning the last 150 years in one amazing set experts agree this is a must-have for silver coin buyers that's right all five silver dollars are legal tender official united states mint coins if you call 1-800-973-9717 right now we'll send you this ultimate five-piece american silver dollar set with each silver coin in extremely fine or brilliant uncirculated condition guaranteed this set includes every type of u.s silver dollars in american history issued from 1878 to 2024 call 1-800-973-9717 now to secure your 150 years of u.s silver dollars five-piece set plus receive a bonus display case an information booklet and free shipping don't miss your chance call 1-800-973-9717 now to secure your five-piece set of iconic u.s silver dollars before they are gone that's 1-800-973-9717 my wife and i both we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. The biggest thing Navage has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages. It, it was from the first use. I was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navaj helps me clear the way, literally clear the way, for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navaj difference yourself. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navaj, N-A-V-A-G-E. McGuire hits it home! Orlando City is back at home this Saturday, March 9th at 7.30 p.m., taking on Minnesota United, presented by Dex Imaging. The match will be a celebration of our 10th season in Major League Soccer. Tune in on Real Radio 104.1 and watch on any device on the Apple TV app. Dex Imaging, the world's biggest business solution provider of copiers and printers. Dex Imaging helps businesses do business better. Check us out online at DexImaging.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations like The Vinyl Experience. Just search Vinyl Experience and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. Free never sounded so good. Over $6 billion in tax refunds were flagged by the IRS for possible identity theft in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, LifeLock will reimburse you to the limits of your plan. Go to lifelock.com and save up to 25% your first year with promo code CLEP. Original MTV VJ Martha Quinn here. Pearl Specialties Olives are bursting with flavor and add the perfect Mediterranean twist to everyday meals and snacks. Rock your recipes with Pearl Specialties Olives. For quality you can trust, look for the sunny yellow jar at your local Walmart. Find your new career. The Florida Jobs Now Job Fair, March 13th at the Orlando Science Center. More info at fljobsnow.com. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine accident attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. 
Watching the world burn with some friends since 2007. This running and ready to go just to let you know sabrina is back with us she was uh, out uh, hey. promoting just okay eight with our friends uh, tom and dan this morning nice guys nice guys how are they doing over there they're doing so great good? they were uh they were uh, nice enough to get to uh, work early uh, on my mm -hmm. part because they start pretty much around the same same time that we do oh yeah and i was like hey guys you know i have to be on the show and so they were, were there early enough and uh, they are super excited. Very big supporters of Just Okay. Blows their minds just like mine that it is our eighth one. I know. Yeah, and and uh, I, maybe the last. Who knows? It's okay, it just I, let's uh, cross that bridge after the first bridge, please. Uh, there, there's too many, too many things, too many problems, too many issues. Okay, <laughs> but we do got this, and I'm excited. Our friends from Mills Air are now the presenting sponsor Hell for yeah. Just Okay, yeah. and that that. I'll about yeah that's exciting stuff right there and we got cleaning some, some ducks we got some folks who are jumping on board with us it will get more into that in the next couple of days here but our presenting sponsor mills air and i love them you hear me talking about them all the time on the show uh couldn't be more excited that they're a part of it so too, uh, just man. make sure if you need a, uh, any help with your ac you always have them in the back of your mind you're gonna be happy with the dealing with them, and I always am. That's who I go to, so check them out, millsair.com. Uh, okay, guy who works at a St. Louis news station is taking some heat today. I wonder if this dude is going to lose his job because sometimes when these things happen, even though to me it's probably just a big accident and who cares, uh, there's pressure from all these like different groups and stupid people online, mostly just stupid people online, and they go, we, it's not enough. It's not enough. This is an egregious injustice, and we need to have this employee's head. And it's a guy who works at KMOV, and his name is Corey Stark. Ooh, uh, they said, fun last name. Corey Stark, like Ned Stark from Game of Thrones, is facing some criticism after a report that he did on KMOV. And they were talking about homeowners. This is uh, allegedly it, but I could just tell. I mean, like sometimes when you look at the video clip, I could tell the audio is not the greatest. Uh, it looks like somebody filming a TV or something here. So well, let's hope for the best. I'll, I'll pump up the audio if I have to. But this is the moment, I guess, that the reporter is getting in trouble for. Here we go. It is part of the so-called American dream, but tonight, colored homeowners are sounding the alarm uh, when what? it comes to undervalued home appraisals. Our national investigative team what did he say? looking into this. All right, so he said, I can't tell if he said color or colored homeowners. Uh, yeah, because the latter is problematic. They're saying, uh, uh, they're saying on the tweet that he said colored. They're saying colored, and they said colored in their apology because they released an apology, obviously, too. And he released an apology. He was very upset that this whole thing had happened, too. So he, I guess, says that he used the word color. I'll let you uh, colored. Let's hear it one more time. It could be either one. It is part of the so-called American dream, but tonight, colored homeowners are sounding the alarm when it comes to undervalued That's home it. appraisals. Are so he, they said there was something else in the script, and he kind of bobbled over it and ended up saying that. And we live in a world of mousetraps when it comes to some of this stuff, and now you're supposed to say things because... You might argue, and this guy's not going to do any arguing because he's probably just trying to keep his job right now. This is like Martin Luther Kuhn all over again where that guy got steamrolled and see you later, buddy. You know, it's like, was this just an accident? Was there any intent behind this? We don't have to talk about any of that. Don't worry about that. But you look at some of the roadblocks that you see when it comes to speaking about things like this, and the guy would be like, well, there's the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. So people say it when it comes to that. And then you go, you, you say people of color seems to be accessible. Mm -hmm. Then there's the one that if I was a black person and somebody called me it, I'd probably slap them. Uh, aside from, of course, the N-word. 
uh, which is BIPOC, which is like a bunch of Manhattanites who are living in pretend world, and they're like, no, it's BIPOCs. This is the thing that we say now. You people are BIPOCs. And Do people, people like, actually say BIPOC out loud? I've only, yes. I've only, I've, you're the first person I've ever heard say BIPOC. Like I've only read it on different, you know, Instagram posts and it's a particular type of person, you know, it's like the same person that says Latinx or something, generally not a Hispanic person, generally somebody who has never talked to people about what they think about these words and, and everybody like weirdly tiptoes around this. Like it's okay to call somebody black. It's okay to say a, a black American because in most cases in the United States of America, that's what we're talking about here. Uh, you don't have to otherize them with things like BIPOC, which is super weird. Colored, when I hear that, I immediately think racist grandma. Yeah. Right? I immediately think, oh, the little colored boy helped me out at Publix. And I'm like, oh, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't sound right. Did I tell but, you that story? No, but I, maybe you did. You maybe you did. It just stuck with me because that's a common thing that you hear. And I would say racist. We vastly know now that it's not appropriate. That it is uh, not okay to say, especially when you're talking about black people. I think like this guy. This you... guy. Hold on. This guy did say that he made a mistake. That he said it on accident. But the language especially in the last decade or so has been as on the move as any language could be. So it's like people of color, green check mark. I guess that, that one's good. You're allowed to say that. Yeah. But, th but then uh, what, what about um, a person of color? I guess that's a green check mark. You're allowed to say that, but a colored person, you're not supposed to say the supporters to know even though you still see that language used in other organizations like the NAACP or something. So that it's a little bit. makes sense to me, though. Does that not Why? make sense to you guys? Like, N no. Because of the connotation <laughs> and, and where the roots are from and how that was used. When it was a quote-unquote popular term, it wasn't... <laughs> It wasn't uh, with positivity attached to it. It was with I don't, I don't think you attached what, to it. I don't, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. If you still have the NAACP utilizing a term, it, to me, it would be like, or, or is it only offensive when a white person says that and the, the organization is fine by saying it themselves? Or That's kind of how the N-word works. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that is how it works. And look, I'm not here to make the rules up. <laughs> it's just give, give me the rule sheet, folks, and I'll, I'll follow it, and I'm right along with you. What I'm saying is you've you've got this set up where words have been, you know, uh, some of them have been slushed out, replaced by other ones, and then no, now you say this one, and then for Lighting white people, fast. Like, very very fast, people would be like, oh, you say Latinx, and then Spanish people stood up, a lot of Mexican people stood up, and they were like, excuse me, what? No, this is this is not it. This is not what we're doing right here. You know how much Spanish they would have to change. You everything, know how much, yeah, everything in Spanish. You, you learned it in high right. school, masculino, feminina. Right. And and literally, that this is just a small number of people who, who are trying to do that in that case. But in this case, here's what we got, right? KMOV, their vice president and general manager, released a statement after this uh, anchor said the word colored on on air in this report. The script originally read, quote, homeowners of color, J.D. Sosnoff said, but it was inadvertently changed and mistakenly read on air. So he kind of uh, Ron burgundy it, right? Like, that's what the script said. That's what it said in front of this guy. To me, that absolves the guy. I'm sorry. Like, if the script says that. That's a and the great guy, excuse. How does that I, change? I think it changes that? absolutely everything. Uh, oh, who changed it? Somebody yeah. who was in charge of whoever the script supervisor is i don't know what that person's job is called but uh i guess it depends this is a decent sized tv station so i would guess there's somebody who's like a producer or script supervisor and that's their job and then they made a mistake here's their full quote on this all right and we'll get to you your dispatches go over to the newsjunkie.com for that the incident from last monday's newscast was unacceptable and does not represent the commitment st louis's number one news source should you really really be doing that in the middle of your apology letter like st louis's number one news source provides for greater st louis community every day it was in uh it was in an original script as quote homeowners of color and was inadvertently changed and mistakenly read on air. 
We regret the error and apologize to our viewers on air at 10 p.m. on Monday night and 6.30 p.m. on Tuesday night. In addition, our move management team has reached out to local civic leaders, the local leadership of the NAACP, what does that stand for, and the national leadership of the National Association of Black Journalists to offer our heartfelt apologies, they said. To a person, all have understood this was an unacceptable human error and are supportive of the commitment to do better in the future, they say. That's from KMOV and their VP and general manager chiming in on this. Uh, I think that it, I haven't heard, by the way, so I'm not responding to this uh, as if it's already happened. But I think if they're pushing for the guy to be fired, it was in his script. Yeah. I mean, these people, they do their best to try to work around. He sounded a little hesitant as he said it there. I at least got a, like a little hesitancy in his voice. Um, you think they went I, to break and he's like screamed at somebody like, what the hell was that doing there? I just, here's what I don't think. And that's what matters the most to me. I don't think this was some racist dude who was like, here we go. I'm on KMOV. Let me try to Today is the this day in. I've been working my whole career to do. Yeah, of course. That, that's thing. very, 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 very unlikely that that's the case. So we should look at it through a lens where we consider that that's probably what happened here. Every time right. something like this happens, there there's there was a line or two in that apology that stood out to me that we hear all the time. And it's like, you know, they've reached out to leaders of the NAACP and local black journalists. And mm -hmm. do these uh, organizations have a an apology hotline by now? Is there probably. just a, is there a number to call or a script that <laughs> I hope doesn't inadvertently get changed at the last minute? Yeah, the red the red phone rings on the corner of the room. Uh, here oh, we go. Which one of you guys <laughs> said it? Another dummy out there. What's going on? We want to see what you think. Go over to thenewsjunkie.com and hit record on your first dispatch right now. Uh, Ran on YouTube says, wouldn't it make sense if he was saying covered in the context of what he was actually saying? Well, I'm sure if that's what he was trying to say there, there would have been some. What's a covered homeowner? Uh, covered insurance, by insurance. If they were talking about, yeah, if they were talking um, about insurance, I, I don't think that that was the case because I think that they would have responded that way, right? They would have responded and said, actually, what he was saying here was he was talking about insurance um, holders that were covered by policy, blah, 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 blah. I think they would have done that unless they're just incredibly, incredibly scared of what all the reaction is going to be. I think a lot of that is washed out. I mean, I've met very few black people who actually care about this stuff. Black people are like, hey, like, I want to live my life. I want to exist and I want to be able to get good jobs like you and be able to get a house. I want to do those things. I really don't care about a slip up from a news reporter in St. Louis where the script was changed. Like, this is a white people thing mostly, but I'm happy to hear from anybody who's got a thought on it. So go to the newsjunkie.com and hit record on your dispatch right now. I will say uh, that that according to NBC News, they uh, the National Association of Black Journalists made a, a statement about it. Uh -huh. they, they said it is upsetting that such a slur would make it to air. The term is outdated, offensive, and racist. Mm -hmm. But it's just, I mean, when, when you, in the apology like you know call on the NAACP it's it's, it's kind of hard to like have, well, it's just weird. Hard to take it seriously yeah it's like if, if this is bad and this is a racist lingo then it probably shouldn't be in any of these other charter organizations uh or like is it only bad sometimes or like <laughs> let us know let us know what's going on there so the rules are a little bit more well defined i would think Corrupt reality says it's a white people thing. A lot of things are white people things. A lot of things where people clutch their pearls are very white people things. Very much so. Uh, I also want to talk about when we come back, what's happening right now at the airports. And it is a bad situation. And... Miami can only fight them off for so long. They've oh, the uh, breakup's not working. Out. They they tried to break up with the spring breakers, but the spring breakers are refusing to listen to what's going on here. What's happening now in this battle back and forth? We'll figure out. That is coming up next on the news junkie. Do you do words good? Prove it. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1. Tap the microphone and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Travel with caution and expect 
Heavy delays. Authorities are clearing up an accident on I-4 eastbound approaching State Road 429. Two right lanes are blocked on Lee Road, State Road 429. There's an accident westbound near I-4. Travel with caution there. And there's debris in the road on Florida's Turnpike southbound near I-4. Travel with caution through there as well. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477 from the Traffic Center in James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Pearl's Specialties Olives in the Sunny Yellow Jar. Original MTV VJ Martha Quinn here. Pearl's Specialties Olives are bursting with flavor and add the perfect Mediterranean twist to everyday meals and snacks. Rock your recipes with Pearl's Specialties Olives. For quality you can trust, look for the Sunny Yellow Jar at your local Walmart. Let's talk real risks and real safety for a sec. Right now, banks are juggling debts under the radar. Commercial properties, cars, credit cards, they're owed on. It's a bit much, right? Makes you think about the big 08 crash, but there's a smoother way to handle your finances. I've turned to gold and silver. Traditional? Sure. Reliable? Absolutely. Not just shiny objects. Some stability in these uncertain times. Interested in exploring this path? Noble Gold Investments can guide you. They know their stuff about prices. Precious metals for IRAs and 401ks. And here's a little nudge. A quarter ounce gold standard coin free with a qualifying account only this month. Invest with the folks at Noble Gold Investments. Claim your free gold coin and secure your family's financial future. Just use the promo code GOLD. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com now. noblegoldinvestments.com. Past performance may not be indicative of future results. Investing in precious metals including gold involves risks. Consult with your tax attorney or financial professional before making an investment decision. The hit true crime podcast Paper Ghosts is back with the haunting mystery in the shadows of the Ozarks. Season four unravels a darkly intriguing cold case from 1989 as a community continues to search for answers about a missing girl, various suspects, and a potential connection to BTK. It's gone from, okay, we don't think something's quite right to there's some worry going on now because now we've found some of her clothing. Listen to Paper Ghosts on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. A Fifth Third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms? It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a Fifth Third better. That's what a Fifth Third better means. This is banking a fifth third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. A1 is also your one call for garage floors and garage storage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. Cracked or worn out bottom rubbers and seals expose your garage door to bugs and other pests, dirt, debris, and cold air. A1 Garage Door Service can replace old bottom rubber and seals in no time. And don't forget about all the moving parts of a garage door system. Wheels get old, cables fray, grease runs out, and tracks move, putting excessive wear and tear on your garage door system. Don't wait until there's a problem. Call A1 Garage Door Service for all of your garage door needs. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. Because the garage door is the smile of your home, don't wait. Call A1 Garage Door Service and you'll be smiling today. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. Over $6 billion in tax refunds were flagged by the IRS for possible identity theft in 2023. If you're in a buying this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, LifeLock will reimburse you to the limits of your plan. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with promo code CLAY.
WJRR presents the Brightside Music Festival April 27th, taking over the Central Florida Fairgrounds for the highly anticipated return of Sublime featuring Jacob Knoll, along with Eric Wilson and Bud Goff, plus special guests 311 along with Goldfinger and plenty more to be announced. Get tickets at brightsidefest.com. That's brightsidefest.com. Are allergies holding you back? Take control with Aspire Allergy and Sinus, your one-stop solution for a breath of fresh air. Our expert team offers comprehensive allergy testing and cutting-edge treatments so you can enjoy life without the hassles of sneezing and sniffles. Say goodbye to allergy and sinus struggles and hello to a healthier, happier you. Go to AspireAllergy.com today to ditch those temporary fixes and schedule your appointment. That's AspireAllergy.com. Ben's Outlet has the line- largest selection of fencing options in the state with over 400,000 square feet of showroom and warehouse space. Get 0% financing for 12 months for your gorgeous new fence. Book your appointment online today. Go to fenceoutlet.com. License number C-10252 and C-10803. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's Injury Attorneys. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's injury attorney. New South is Florida's factory direct window company. We manufacture, install, and guarantee your windows for life. One company, one call. Our windows blend energy performance with hurricane protection. New South Window, home of your ultimate Florida window. Buy more, save more. Visit NewSouthWindow.com. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to MillsAir.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. The only radio show strong enough to fight off a Category 5 hurricane. So much of this in the past, let's say, two or three years. But now I'm like, I don't know. I think I'm with you a little bit. How is five guys still doing their thing? How is five guys as a company still floating out there? Are, and, and maybe you've been recently. Is it still really busy? Are they still bumping in there? Because all I keep hearing about is how damn expensive stuff is. And when I see a receipt, that says somebody got a bacon cheeseburger with ketchup and mustard, a regular soda, and a small fry, and it's $24.10. Wow. That's, that's, you know, insane. that's a lot, right? And, and they that, go along with the, well, we say small fry, but we're going to give you a large. We just fill that generous. bag like crazy. And then isn't it unlimited toppings? Like you don't pay extra for that? I don't know. I, I've only gone there a couple of times, but they are generous with their fries. I totally can vouch for that. I know you're right about that. But when you look and you see like just the regular ass bacon cheeseburger is twelve dollars and forty nine cents. It's two eighty nine for regular soda and five nineteen for a small fry. With everything and all the things you put in, it turns into twenty four dollars and ten cents for one human being to have like a regular ish lunch at Five Guys. I go, what's going on, man? What's happening? Like, how can they keep doing this? There's got to be a breaking point for people. And then I thought about it. I said, there's there's some categories to consider here, right? You got fast food. Would you put five guys in the fast food category? Or no. is you would put it in like what? What would your category for a place like five guys be? Uh, maybe fast casual. Okay. So that's like a step up. That's like your Chipotle kind of world is what you're getting at there? Yeah. I mean, it, it it's not fast food because... I mean, they, they do this at fast food sometimes, too. But, like, you get a number, and you go to your table, and you wait. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, so you got fast food. you got fast casual. you got sit-down food at, like, a chain. You know, your uh, Applebee's, your Fridays, your, all those different ones. And then you got, like, 
sit down, nicer restaurants where you're expecting to pay a little bit more. And then you might say you have like fancy territory. Well, right? w- when, Wikipedia calls them fast food. Do they? Yeah. You just go in, you wait in a regular line like you would at, at McDonald's or anything. You tell them what you want and they make it for they you. They dominate the market. Like they're five guys seems to be the go to in any of your like tourist cities. You uh-huh. know, you have your McDonald's and your Burger Kings, obviously, but when it comes to five guys, it's like, let's go to this nice American restaurant. But they're everywhere. There and are a so lot of them. That's you know, they have those prices because a bunch of people are going there for the first time and that covers their quota for the quarter. And and I do know, like, I'm not trying to run them down. I'm trying to give them as much credit as I can. I do know that I think they do the thing where they never freeze their beef. And they like, you know, you could see where the potatoes came from and stuff. So they're trying Mm. to at least tell you they got like good ingredients that are coming into this. But that's really expensive. And somebody's saying, oh, it's a tip that gets you there. No, that was like a two dollar tip for one person to eat. That was twenty two dollars, twenty two bucks. I don't want to do it back in my day like I keep doing around here. But I used to be able to take 22 bucks and go to Taco Bell or Wendy's and come back with a Santa sack of food. My Oh, yeah. Like, big over-the-shoulder, guys, boom, here's what I've got. You know, help yourself get what you want here. So there's got to be a breaking point with some people. And to me, one human being having to pay $24 for a meal, that that blasts you out of the fast food range. Uh, CNJ says, Five Guys is more like Sonic, Culver's, or Whataburger. It's made to order. I'm not going to say that I, w- I wouldn't put it a little higher than a McDonald's or something, but should there be that big of a difference between what? Cause I know I can get a quarter pounder meal. I'm sure for like 10 ish bucks at McDonald's. If I actually go to the McDonald's. Also, I say, I would think that these days, most of the stuff that you get like at a McDonald's is made mm-hmm. to order. Like, yeah, it's, it is. I mean, it used to be like, you you were avoiding getting something out of that little like rack of like the little slides where they would slide the burgers down as they mm-hmm. made them. Remember that like way when we were kids. Yeah. And like if you were like, well, if you, if you didn't want something that's been sitting under the the heat lamp, you would have to order something special like extra pickle. They're like, oh, now we got to make it. Yep. Yeah, because yeah. the, the cheeseburgers would be like in, in an army line. There'd be a whole bunch yeah. of them just ready to go. You grab them and fling like, them at the person. It, it was like the person behind the counter had a cheeseburger store. Mm-hmm. And then they would just take them off the rack. Yeah. But, but it, these days, like, the the all that stuff has been redesigned to where most of that stuff's made to order. Some of you folks are crazy. I was banned for a joke on Twitch. says, yeah, the fries alone are worth seven or eight bucks. If you're talking about five guys, you are nuts. I mean, the fries or maybe are good. I'm just like, they are good, and the stuff is good, but $25. Like, I, I start to think about how consumers operate. And I go, I think there's a breaking point. So I think people put things in these little categories. You have your fast food category, which probably includes your Wendy's, your McDonald's, your Burger King, your you know Taco Bell, all those things that you expect to be just flat out cheap fast food. And I think most people are even now expecting to spend $7 a person or so, like probably less than $7 they would want to spend at these fast food places. So if you had three people, you might expect $21. But certainly you're not expecting that for one. I think when you go to the next step up, which might be a Chipotle, maybe you could put five guys in that category. Maybe you call it this fast casual thing that Sealand's calling it. I still think people are like, I should be able to eat for $12 in that category. I should be able to get my burrito or my bowl or whatever I'm going for. And it be around that price point. Once we get up to $25, most people are thinking that they're going to sit down in a seat. Food is going to be served to them. There's, it's going to be another level higher. And if if not, why are they doing the other thing? Why are they spending? If, if you bring a family of four into five guys and they all get a burger, fries, and a drink, and it's 100 bucks out the door, I'm going to feel like highway robbery just occurred. <laughs> I'm going to feel like hey, you put that it on was... a credit card. You get the points, man. And then eventually yeah. an insulated cup or something. I'm, I'm going to not be okay with that, that deal. But if I took three people out, let's say uh, Sabrina, C. Lane, Jack Bradshaw, and me all go to TGI Fridays or like Chili's uh, or whatever, and then when after we all eat, the bill is $100, I'd go, that makes sense. I get it. I understand no, this a fault. little bit more. Yeah, that's my bad. 
Uh, put you order, man. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, anyhow, well, that is really skyrocketing. They have to be feeling the pressure over there if it's $25 a person at Five Guys and just going up and up and up and up. At some point, people <laughs> will break on this. So I am just to kind of uh, test this out. Mm-hmm. I'm ordering delivery of uh, Five Guys right now. I, have, right. I mean, I'm not. I don't think I'm actually. Oh, good. Yeah. Thank you so yeah, much. Should, should so we nice. put our orders in right now? Get Jack, yeah, so you, you may have two. to because uh, it says something went wrong. Only orders above twenty dollars can be delivered. Your order was not placed, and you will not be billed. Damn, oh, okay. they ain't even getting out of bed for under twenty bucks. Because over it. for a bacon cheeseburger, little Cajun fries, and a bottle of Diet Coke. Hi, I'm a little Cajun guy. Nineteen dollars and thirty-seven cents. Oh wow. That's Jesus. a lot. It's too much, man. It's just too much for this stuff. But then you say that, and I'm like, I have ordered, granted, some of it, most of it, through Uber Eats, mm-hmm. and I'm not ever paying anything less than 20 bucks. It, That's a lot, though. Like your Panera orders, we just talked about them earlier this week, maybe last week, that, I mean, that kind of stuff, you're for sure going to walk out the door with at least a $25, $30 bill. Yeah, I think so. Now, but it wasn't that way. It wasn't that way within the last 10 years even. It was far less than that. And one thing that I've heard, and I want to see the tidal wave push back, and maybe we're seeing it a little bit, but Wendy's got so damn scared about everybody freaking out about their surge pricing model that they said, we're not doing any surge pricing. We just want to make stuff cheaper for you, everybody. And then now they're launching a campaign with like super cheap burgers for the next several months or so for now to try to, to to win people back. But you need that competition going on. Has that already started? I don't know. Why are you hungry? <laughs> I don't know. All, this, all this five guys talk. <laughs> He's over oh, there looking at the five guys. Remember we up. had this story the other day about McDonald's changing to Wickdonald's. Mm-hmm. That's a real thing. I've, that that yeah. I, I got a I went for a diet coke the other day, and that's what was on my cup. And I was like, oh, Wickdonald's. Yeah, and- I don't even remember why. There's like Japanese writing on the bag. It's from uh, uh, anime. Yeah, it's like a shout out to the anime world. Here's the real reason why you should abandon the five guys, unless they want to sponsor the show. To go to five girls. Yeah, we love five guys. Let me tell you what they do over at five guys. We don't love them now. I'm spending money. No, I'm saying what we will when they want to sponsor. We'll be the biggest fans you've ever seen in your life. We'll get an email for sure. We're like five guys uh, representative heard your show. Not please, guys. Have you ever? Have you ever ordered in your life? And you guys might yell at me and say, this is like my Linda's Law Cantina spaghetti order. Have you ever ordered a hot dog from Five Guys? No. No. I thought about okay. it. I they don't do typically thing. order hot dogs, I will say. You don't like, like hot dogs? No, I like hot dogs, but just like in the backyard mm-hmm. barbecue or super drunk walking through the streets of downtown sense. They're kind of relegated to that world more so these days. They truly are. But I love me a On good my hot only dog. fans page. And when you go over to Five Guys and you get the hot dog, they cook the hot dog and then they they slice it down the middle. Oh, to put stuff inside of it. And flatten it on the flat top. Yeah, to get more grill marks. No. Oh, to like cook it more or something? I want want a round dog. You know what I mean? Like, I want my, I don't want this flat, like to wrap your lips around it, Sean. It's not that I want to do that. It's that I want, I want my experience. I just went to Portillo's again and had that Chicago dog. Bam, man. That's life. It's round. Like That's it. how you live. Yeah, it's tubular, right? It's like you do, don't screw with this and slice it oh, open. And- I mean, the slice down the middle is something that people have been doing for a long time. I, I could care less if you do it or don't do it. Uh, but if you hate that, there are so many hot dog gadgets that you prob- that would probably just make you... Like steam come out of your ears. I like that little twisty turning one that turns them in. They look like little people. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm there's, sorry. <laughs> there's oh, what? You put you put your hot dog in it and you you make a move with your hot dog and it turns your hot dog into a fun little. It looks like a flailing arm kind of character. And you consume it. You're like, all right, forget. I'm it. You a guys, giant. <laughs> you've never seen this before. I have there's not. Th- I'll find it during the break. Okay. There's a thing you put your hot dog in it and it makes this your is hot the dog. The pussification of America. It if you started ask me, it. It what happened to the just regular old hot dogs, please? Wait, wait until you see this. I'll find it, or, or I won't be able to, and I'll sound like an absolute lunatic. <laughs> we'll see how this goes, and we'll hear from you. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. We got to get into the TSA story, the spring break story. It's right, all right. on deck. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio. It 
it, it, it is. The monsters in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> You're awful, Ryan. That, and nothing makes me harder than that. Uh, what? Speaking what? of laugh harder today. <laughs> The Monsters in the Morning. Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Watch out for bumper-to-bumper traffic due to an accident on I-4 eastbound approaching State Road 429. There's an accident on Lee Road westbound near I-4 as well. Watch out for delays there. Traveling on Florida's Turnpike, a bit of congestion southbound approaching I-4 due to debris in the road. Travel with caution. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident and would like to know the value of your case, go to ForThePeople.com to see cases just like yours. You see, all lawyers are not the same. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Mortgage brokers are better. Why, you ask? Well, they do all of their loans through national wholesale lenders. Still going to be your standard FHA, VA, or conventional loan. But mortgage brokers have access to dozens of wholesale banks that are competing for your business. And wholesale banks only loan through mortgage brokers like that mortgage guy, Don. And that mortgage guy, Don, is the best. He made the process of getting a quote or comparing the quote you already have super easy. We all know shopping for a mortgage can be complicated and confusing, but it's not when it comes to that mortgage guy, Don. So get the process started today with an expert and a friend that you could trust by going to thatmortgageguydon.com. The World Poker Tour is taking over an entire Virgin Voyages luxury cruise ship for a week of sun, fun, and most of all, world-class poker tournaments. WPT Voyage departs from Miami on March 31st for six days at sea with a full slate of poker tournaments, including our $5,000 buy-in main tour event with a million-dollar guarantee. The adult-only cruise will stop in Grand Cayman and the Bahamas for golf, tennis, and pickleball events. Tap and start at just $1,500 per person, so book yours today on WPTVoyage.com. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Sunnyside Electric. Oh, hi. I'm worried about my electrical panel. For static electricity problems involving your cat, press 1. No, my electric panel. For all other inquiries, press 2. Don't even have a cat. Fine. What's your problem, then? My electric panel. It's making sort of a humming noise. Impossible. If your panel is working normally, it should be silent. I know. That's why... Have you tried using those noise-canceling headphones? What? Then you won't hear the humming. How does that help? It'll get you off my back. This would never happen with Frank Gay. But you didn't call Frank Gay. No, but I'm calling them now. When you have an electrical problem, you need help now. A helpful operator to guide you, qualified electricians to diagnose and repair your electric panel, and keep it safe and functional. That's the Frank Gay way. Wish I'd called Frank Gay in the first place. Sorry, can't hear you. I'm wearing my noise-canceling headphones. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. 
If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. Over $6 billion in tax refunds were flagged by the IRS for possible identity theft in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues And all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, LifeLock will reimburse you to the limits of your plan. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with promo code CLAY. Love podcasts? Pull out your phone right now, open the free iHeartRadio app, and check out these podcasts. History on trial. Only 30 minutes to put her body in the well. Dateline NBC. The first big clue in the mystery. Mission Implausible. The means to keep down what was then called the third world. Listen today on the iHeartRadio app. More than just the best radio, it's your favorite podcasts, too. And best of all, it's absolutely free. iHeartRadio. New South Window Solutions, made in Florida for Florida homes by Florida workers. Visit NewSouthWindow.com. Send him your tips and your deepest, darkest secrets. Email tips at the... is over i was trying to find some of this stuff i was talking about and it it turns out we just we're over we've peaked as humanity and we need to shut things down uh the thing i was telling you guys about this isn't exactly it but for those of you on youtube and twitch that tv you'll be able to see it's one of these weirdo things where you might as well do this at five guys where you take your hot dog and you turn it into like this little character and i don't know why or what or how or well i mean i do know how you use a stupid thing, and then it, like, slices and dices your hot dog into a little carrot. What are you, seven? I know. That's that's it. And then Courtney was like, what about the octopus? And I was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, oh, God. You know, there's, like, ways to turn your, your hot dog into, like, an octopus and all these bizarre things. And Ceiling goes, have you heard of slot dog? And this is the one that I keep seeing, like. Uh, show up in my feed somehow. I, I don't know why. Slot dog. Yeah, yeah. S L O T. Slot dog. And, slot and, dog. And like I, I what can kind of get behind the slot dog though. Is it to put the stuff inside of the the slots? I imagine. Well, yeah. yeah. You like you squish it down on your dog, and if you're having a hot dog, it you, makes like these little like cuts in it's, it. It's like a waffle cut almost. Oh, and, like it. Yeah, the point being, like you could put the maple syrup of the hot dog into. Yeah, you could, I, I feel it like with ketchup, mustard, whatever you want to put inside the hot dog, you can put Mayo. inside these little things. Yeah, you could do that too. Yeah, but I think uh, that's just like a like an added bonus having the little like grooves there to put your toppings in. I think mostly it's to get more uh, like surface area on the grill to to harden up and to like get nice and burnt and crunchy. Either way, I can deal with this, but I can deal with when they just slice the things in half, uh, half like they do over at Five Guys, and they go, thank you, sir. That'll be $25. See you later. That is not necessarily for me. Maybe for you, though. We'll get to your dispatches as you chime in on this and many more weird things that we're talking about today on the show. Record crowds at the airports, friends. Record crowds out there as TSA sees people funneling in to go somewhere else. To celebrate spring break. Spring break. Despite the fact that Miami Miami said, no, 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 no. Please don't come here. We're breaking up with you. You're going to break laws and have fun? No, thanks. They had a whole commercial campaign that we played yesterday on the show. If I was in spring break age range and had the opportunity, that -hmm. commercial would make me change my plans to make sure we are there. Yeah. Just to be like, F you. We're it's going. corny. It's super, super corny. Try me. I'll, I'll borrow some dollars from my parents to park. 
But Miami said flat out, like, here's what we're doing. We got curfews. If you commit a crime, we're going to make sure that you're held responsible for it, which is like, shouldn't that always be the thing? <laughs> like, we're changing things up for spring break. If you guys commit a crime, you're going to jail. Okay. I thought that was like the default. I thought that was what we always did. And they said parking is going to be $100 and... You know, all these things were going to be much more obnoxious to make it so less people would go out to Miami, but they're still going to Miami. They're still headed out there. And now some of the folks are moving over to Fort Lauderdale, up and down the coast. Everybody, this is when you, you folks who have been in Rochester just freezing your asses off for months on end. Now you go, all right, let's, let's go somewhere. Let's go to Texas. Let's go somewhere in the Southeast. Let's go somewhere fun. And a lot of people head toward South Florida. And Miami is just like, enough's enough. It's not worth it for us. Uh, one of the top places for spring break travelers, Orlando. Orlando oh. up there. Oh, Fort boy. Lauderdale and Miami are the two pop most popular domestic cruise ports. I guess, and I don't know why I didn't think of this. This makes total sense. Cruises blow up right about now. Like, cruises are on fire as the spring break starts and a lot of people who are, let's say, 21, 22 years old, they go, let's go on a party cruise with eight, 10 of our friends, and we pay for the drink package, and we pay for all those things up front, and then we're good to go. We don't have, like, all the nickel and dime extra stuff that we're going to have to pay. And while that's nice, might be expensive. It's nice. Once you've paid that stuff off. And it's done. And then you get on the boat, and you don't have anything. I mean, first of all, you, you now you go. Well, I can I could use like I have room for some extras if if mm -hmm. need be, but I really don't have to. So uh, yeah. let's party, right? And if you don't want to gamble or if you don't want to do a couple other things, you can literally just go and then have tips at the end, and have all your stuff paid for. And you might go well, but it's a eight hundred dollar ticket or a thousand dollar ticket. Well, if you go to Miami, uh, people are stipulating Miami Beach. It doesn't matter, Miami. Uh, you go to South Beach, you go to Miami Beach, you go anywhere down in South Florida, the hotel is going to be very expensive this time of year, even if you're splitting it with several people. It might be harder to book those hotels, especially if they're nicer ones. The restaurants are always expensive in Miami. There's not a day where they go, guess what? We're doing cheap day here. It's very pricey to eat and drink at these places. The clubs are incredibly expensive as far as I am aware. I'm not somebody who they always regularly... Are goes to, to Miami clubs, but it seems I, like Miami clubs will probably be more expensive than other places. I can't imagine what they were going to be charging people to get into the club or yeah. at least per bottle because and I, you're going for a week. it's been a long time since I've been to the club in Miami, but mm. i certainly remember it being an absolute ridiculous, like I'm glad I'm with this person and I'll be here for all of 30 minutes because there would never be a day over my dead body. I would pay that amount of money to go into a club where I can't see or hear anything. I hate to say it, but I think even though I kind of crapped on cruise travel a little bit in the last couple of weeks saying, if I'm going to spend as much as it is for uh, some of these huge Royal Caribbean ships where it's four or $5,000 to go on your week-long cruise, I can much easier and much uh, in a much more efficient way go to a destination that I want to go to and stay in a four-star hotel and be able to have the freedom of traveling around and actually exploring the city, which I prefer personally. But if you're 21 and you just want to party, hell yeah. Get on one of these. Like, hell what, yeah. Hell yeah. What, what's the most party in a party in cruise ships? Is Carnival the one where it's like no rules around here? Uh, I mean, I've seen some footage. It's uh, not the one that Sabrina went on. It's not that one because that one's a little pricey, I think, to be as. It's pricey up front, but it ends up being, I think. Uh, just around the same amount Wait, of money. Which one are we talking about? Virgin Voyages. She's, she went on Virgin Voyages, which is for people over 18 mostly. No kids are uh, usually on these. But what I'm saying is you don't look at it and you don't go, oh, you went on a Virgin cruise. You know, you go, oh, this is a nice cruise ship. This is a nice cruise line. They party, man. It's going to be a little more expensive. It's going to be a party ship. But Caribbean, Royal Caribbean, they're, I think they're more expensive now with some of these newer ships. Mm, depend, yeah, but if you, that, that just means the older ship gets the, gets the deals. Carnival well, party but, time. Is that Carnival's the one, right? Carnival, <laughs> I feel like I always see clips of, like, older white men, uh, women in the middle of a twerking contest. And everyone's like, yes. let's go, pour champagne on her butt. Is Carnival, it's just, like, like, as they're leaving the dock for the cruise. 
it's like the circus circus of the seas. Like, that's that's what I'm talking about here, where everybody knows what you're getting into. All frills are dropped. Like at Circuit Circus, they don't even give you glassware. They just straight up put your stuff in the little plastic cups. Yeah. And they give you like the little coffee straws if you're lucky. But you know what you're getting into. You're getting into Circus Circus. That's what's happening in that territory right there. So they're flooded at the airports. Tons of people showing up. All right, let's go to you. Let's see what you got with your dispatches, which are rolling into us right now. Okay. Go I to have, this one. I have the Carnival website up. And right. if you're judging, like, you know, which one allows you to party more, yeah, their drink package is 15 a day. 15 bucks a day? No, no, 15 drinks a day. Like, it's not oh, unlimited. What? 15 or, drinks a day is uh, a lot of drinks, though. Uh, all day long. You guys can drink more than 15 drinks I know a day. you can drink more than 15 drinks. Uh, if, if I got a double, about, would that, that would count as two right off the jump? They wouldn't give you doubles. They wouldn't? No. I think about it, you're waking mm. up and you're by the pool. So you yeah. got your morning round there. I want to drink there, yeah. We got, um, you're one. just going to have one drink, Sean? Until uh, lunch? Brunch may. I'll have a couple moses, maybe. Two. Okay. Two. Three. Exactly. I'm, I'm going to have three. Put me down for three for the early morning drinking. I'll probably have three. Right. Fifteen would be done, especially in that cruise setting. They're gonna. Oh. You're going to end up spending so much, or you're going to waddle through security because you have so much of those plastic flasks stuffed in your pants. Wait, couldn't you guys see how many drinks you actually had per day with the drink passes that you got? You you were, were busting over 15? Uh, I don't remember if that was possible on the last cruise I went on because I don't know if it differentiated between the ones that I got and the ones my wife got. I would have to look. I don't, I don't know if we even still have access to that. Yeah, I mean, I would want to know that information at the very least, just to see how I was I doing out there. I don't know if I there. would, to be honest. <laughs> uh, the doctor today wouldn't have wanted to know any of that information for sure. Uh, oh, at least yeah, Sean went to the doctor today. Sabrina. Oh, it was this morning. Yep. Yeah, How'd it yeah. go? I went, you know, good enough. Triglides? Uh, well, no, I don't know yet. I'm okay. going to know probably on Friday they said they'll have my information. But the lady goes. Are we giving uh, passes for just okay? Uh, no, so no, no we're, we're going to. We're going to keep them out of the news junkie world as much as humanly possible because they Aww. didn't signal that they were aware of the show, which is a good thing, I think. Um, Even but, when you were in the stirrups? Uh, I was not in the stirrups. Okay. I was I was just waiting in a chair for a very long time, <laughs> like two hours or so today. Um, all right, here's let's do a couple more. Here's Mad Taint with a dispatch. Yeah, I felt the same way when I went to Taco Bell last night and got yeah. sick hard sell tacos with just meat and cheese, and it came to $18. No. So, yeah, Flag on the field. Talking. Not true. Now, if you got regular-ass hard-shell tacos, what did he say? How many did he say? Six? There's no way that was 18 bucks. The regular taco, the regular hard-shell taco with Taco Bell isn't three bucks, I don't think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but I, I would still think it was a little cheaper than that. Let me know if you see this. Here's Space Coast Native saying, I quit five guys. Oh, why? They got money coming hey, in. Jukies. I quit going there about a month, two months ago because five guys was $22 for a bacon cheeseburger and a small Cajun French fry. You can go to Chili's for the price of that. True. And get a drink. It's just ridiculous. They, I quit. Nah, nah, they just they parse themselves out for me. She's Thank you. <laughs> I always feel Jamming like stepbrothers. The smallest thing will. Oh yeah, bring it home. God, you're <laughs> awful. He's so disappointed in his family. <laughs> Such a great movie. I like the lady who plays his wife. Oh, oh yeah, my God, she's the best. <laughs> she's was that Catherine Hahn? Yeah, was it? Was it I don't know. Hahn? She's funny. That lady. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like she starts flirting with Will Ferrell at the house, and yeah. you know, Kevin like, oh. the best. <laughs> oh God! All right, let's go over to uh, Dan the Plumber talking about hot dogs. That's fun. Hey, junkies! Happy Wednesday! Can't wait for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for just okay. Can't wait to 
take some shots and party with the three best friends I never had knew I had. Same, yeah. We'll, we'll never had. Yeah, never. <laughs> no, I never had, never did. Uh, Fernando says two eighty each for the tacos. I'm assuming Eric says one twenty nine each. So we're really all over the place here. I don't know if we've uh, locked in on anything. I'm talking about bottom of the barrel regular taco at Taco Bell, which is just like the meat, the cheese, and the lettuce. That's all you get in it. Those used to be, back in my day, those used to yeah, be... Yeah, 50 cents. 59 cents. Then I think they went up to 79 cents. Now I would assume they're a dollar or something. I would assume they're a dollar forty nine, dollar fifty nine. But I wouldn't assume that they would be up to $3 now, which was what he was saying. Because I saw not that long ago that Taco Bell saw this like big party pack that you could buy, and it was still totally reasonable. It was like 10 of this or that or all these extra things on the side. And I remember thinking, like, shaking my head going, you know what? This, that's not the worst deal that I've ever seen right there. What do you think? Let us know. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. I hear somebody sending this over. I don't know if this is um, the same exact price at the store. I think it might be. This says crunchy taco. Look how pathetic these things look. Just thrown on their side. And you never see them in this state because they always break. They always break and snap in half. Still worth it, though. $1.89. Um, the spicy potato soft taco. Look at the deal there. $1.29 for 240 calories of power added to your body. Are you hungies or something, man? A little bit. Spicy yeah. potato taco. So Fritz likes those. I, I know. Think. I was going to say, that's exactly yeah. what Fritz eats. Fritz is sworn by, at least uh, as far as I know, the Taco Bell vegan items that they have. And for a while, they took those away or took some of them away and pissed oh. off a bunch of the vegans. And it's like, hey, folks, give these people a, a couple of options here for God's sake. I don't know that they have vegan stuff. I think it's just vegetarian. Is that what it is? Uh, because what? The cheese screws it up? I would nah. think so. Bad. Um, All right. When we come back, the next episode with Sabrina, what's coming up on the next episode? What's coming up on the next episode? Scientists have discovered a species of Jurassic worm that is so ugly, they decided to name it after a shock rock legend. Uh, if you love Star Wars and if you've got a pile of money weighing you down, do I have an auction for you and not your sex life? Plus, the infamous Ellen Oscar selfie is 10 years old and apparently cursed. All that and so much more coming up on the next episode. And that is coming up next on the News Junkie. Coming up tonight on Real Radio, at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Hey, Central Florida, I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Wednesday. And we are expecting increasing shower and thunderstorm chances through the course of this afternoon. Afternoon highs will climb into the upper 70s and low 80s with a high of 80 degrees for Orlando. These scattered showers and storms will develop over the course of the early afternoon. Some of these could pack a punch as they move through with gusty winds, heavy rainfall and small hail possible. Much of the rain will stay south and east of the Orlando metro. This this report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Their end-to-end -end solution helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all year round. Schedule and conduct virtual interviews right from your Indeed dashboard. Learn more by visiting Indeed.com slash credit. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Store Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. A1 is also your one call for garage floors and garage storage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. If your garage door is noisy, if bugs are getting in, or if it struggles to open, your garage door is in need of a repair. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. A1 from day one. Enjoying the news, Junkie? You've probably heard a ton of injury attorney commercials, but if you are injured and need a lawyer, who's the right lawyer for you? That's why we offer our 30-day risk-free trial. If you are not 100% satisfied with the way we treat you and your case within the first 30 days, you can take your file back and you owe us nothing. No fees, no costs, and no questions asked. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Go to JustCallMo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando attorney. This is trial attorney Jeff Coffin from the injury law firm McCoffin and Lind. Whenever you hear the words, this call is being recorded, 
understand this is not for your benefit. In my experience representing thousands of clients over 25 years, I have seen insurance companies use these recordings to deny responsibility and avoid paying medical expenses. Let your attorney do your talking for you. Contact us at oneunionist.com or dial pound 546, Office Orlando. Over $6 billion in tax refunds were flagged by the IRS for possible identity theft in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, LifeLock will reimburse you to the limits of your plan. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with promo code CLAY. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. Feel plenty good by incorporating silk into your morning routine. Silk's delicious plant-based beverages help bring a daily dose of goodness. They are rich in calcium and a good source of vitamins A and D to support the health of you and your family. Shop wherever you find groceries. Daytona Bike Week is back March 1st through the 10th, and there's no better place to celebrate than at the iconic Daytona International Speedway. Home to the area's largest motorcycle marketplace with top manufacturer displays, top-of-the-line gear, custom bikes, and more. Plus, free test rides on Progressive Demo Road and all the excitement of Harley-Davidson Thunder Alley. It all culminates Saturday, March 9th with America's most historic motorcycle race, the Daytona 200. Don't miss out. Daytona International Speedway is the place to celebrate Bike Week. Hey, what's good, guys? This is Amy. Angel from the Monsters. You guys know I love to cook on my Big Green Egg. Why? It's impressive and everything turns out great on the Big Green Egg. If you don't have one, you got to go to Wasi's Meat Market and get a Big Green Egg. They have the lowest prices in the country. They also have all the accessories, everything that you need. They have the classroom set up so you can teach you the basic techniques on the Big Green Egg and advanced techniques on the Big Green Egg as well. When you get the Big Green Egg from Wasi's Meat Market, there's a lifetime guarantee, so check them out. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Market. Check them on Instagram or go to their website, wassiesmeatmarket.com in Melbourne on Wickham Road. It's Wassie's Meat Market. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawontwait.com. Join us Monday night for our 2024 iHeart Podcast Awards. Presented by The Hartford, live at South by Southwest. We'll honor the very best in podcasting from the past year and celebrate the most innovative talent and creators in the industry. Listen Monday night, starting at 11 p.m. right here. Presented by The Hartford Small Business Insurance. Learn more or start a quote at thehartford.com slash business. With insurance designed for your small business, the bucks got your back. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Join in on the chaos. We eagerly await your dispatch. This.
things happening in the world of entertainment and beyond. And don't forget, friends, if you miss any of the show today or ever, you can always go to the newsjunkie.com and subscribe to the podcast for free. It's all right there and ready for you on the website. Let's get into it. Let's do the next episode. Because there's a lot on TV. And you can't possibly keep up with all of it, even though you should, because what else are you going to talk about? Boom! I'm horny. Nothing. Weather's nice. It's time for the next episode with Sabrina. Hey, 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 hey. Smoke weed every day. day, 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 day. Hold up. That's right. Hold up. If you're refinancing, buying a first dream home, perhaps debt consolidation, maybe, uh... You know what? I have not gotten the green light to say that yet. So oh. some exciting news going with that mortgage kind on. But uh, when it comes to refinancing or buying a first dream home, you should be working with the expert, your friend. Part of the Real Radio family has your best interests in mind. He's going to actually treat you like a human and not like a number. You work with that mortgage guy, Don. Go to thatmortgageguydon.com to get the process started today. Don't miss the boat. Come pay your quote. Yeah, yeah. That mortgage guy, Don. Uh-huh. Now I want to know the secret Don news. Oh, well, I just mm-hmm. I can't tell you. We have a we got a call. We got some things. Uh, he'll also be there, just okay. So looking forward to hanging out with him. Nice. It's gonna be a party. It was speaking of parties. One hundred twenty-eight years ago, Sean, you remember this? I was not alive. Eighteen ninety-six. A guy named Charles Brady King drove. The first car on the streets yeah. of Detroit. Oh, that'd be cool. Crazy times. Uh, when it broke down on the busy street, people <laughs> yelled at him, get a horse. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to use that phrase all the time. Get a horse. Uh, Put on, Take a nap. Can you imagine? Like There were probably people at the time who were like, this is never going to catch on, right. guys. This Come is never going to be a big deal. Horses are the true way to go. And horses uh-huh. are like, we're so glad we get to chill out for a little bit. And then carriage rides happened. Um, and that seems to be the most interesting thing that happened on this day. All right, fair the enough. exception of, and I'm feeling really old, but that Oscars selfie back in the day, 10 years ago with mm-hmm. Ellen, is uh, now believed to be cursed, everybody. Yeah. I just Why? can't believe it was 10 years ago. I remember us talking about it. And yeah, we're like, a lot who of does it stars. belong to? And that became copyright stuff. But here we are, and 10 years later, uh, believe it or not, here are all the bad things that have happened to most of the people in the photo. And uh, let's just uh, see what the carnage is, shall we? Okay, I'm looking around the photo right now. We got Ellen. That's pretty yeah. obvious. Uh-huh. Uh, nothing called bad out. happened there. No, nope, nothing at all. <laughs> in 2020, an article called her out for a toxic work environment on her show. Allegations only grew from there. She ended the show in 2022. Mm. Kevin Spacey. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, um, well, fired from the House of Cards in 2017 due to sexual assault allegations. Never been convicted of anything, but the career hasn't really recovered all that much. Mm-hmm. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie divorced. Oh, that's true. Yeah. And it got really ugly and is still ugly because they're, I think, battling over a winery and children uh, i do not know jared and, leto's in there was he okay did he get tipped over at any point in time uh jared leto won an oscar that year for dallas buyers club since then he's played the most universally hated joker in suicide squad oh yeah. that's true that was not great appeared in house of gucci morbius haunted mansion and also um he's ridiculous and there was rumors that he's trying to start some sort of cult yeah mm-hmm. sex cult meryl streep sign me up I never thought there was anything going on with Meryl Streep, but according to New York Post, last year it was revealed that she had separated from her husband, Don Gummer, in 2017, almost uh, 40 years together. And now um, he's getting Gummer somewhere else. Uh, (laughs) Still getting him, though. Um, We have Julia Roberts. Sean loves her so much. And I guess in 2014, her filmography, her, her... her little resume there has been uh-huh. a little dull, but um, she did play Smurf Willow in Smurfs the Lost Village. That's the only thing no, she's been in? Well, she was in that Netflix thing. Yeah, the end of the world or whatever. Yeah, I thought oh. that was fine. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a big thing. Yeah, it was, there was a lot of stars in that. Uh, but they say the remaining people in the selfie, Jennifer Lawrence, Channing Tatum, Lupita Nyong'o, and her brother Peter, they seem to be doing okay for now. What about Bradley Cooper? 
Bradley Cooper had that weird uh, forehead thing with Lady Gaga. Uh-huh. And yeah. then I think he called off his engagement. I don't know. It is cursed. But who needs love when you got the iconic restaurant booth from The Sopranos? Yeah, this thing was a really cool collectible to have. And we talked last week about how it was up for auction, and we now have the winning bid for the piece of Garden State memorabilia. This is over at Holston's in Bloomfield, New Jersey, and the eBay auction has closed. Now, the listing for the booth uh, where Tony Soprano and his family sat during those closing minutes, well, uh, what was it, Journey played? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, don't uh, stop believing. What was the spoiler? Uh, just, oh, the screen cut to black. Yeah. yeah, it was like in the middle of all the drama. No resolution, no nothing. I remember at the time there wasn't a lot of social media platforms to go to, so everybody was going to, like, forums. And everyone's like, what the hell, man? They thought their HBO had cut out a lot of people. people, I I did, too. It was like my feed cut out. Something happened. Can you guys tell us? What did you see? What happened? And everybody was, like, kind of raging afterwards. So it was less than a week it was on eBay. The starting price was $3,000. Uh-huh. It received a total of 238 bids from 49 bidders. Did you guys see already what it went for? Mm, Let's no, do some but went, guessing, baby. It went for way more than that suggested. That's crazy. They only wanted three grand. Yeah, three grand was a low start for something that big. Yeah, and mind you, this cost. had been there for quite some time. But mm-hmm. the truth of the matter is their renovation, they needed to get rid of all the booths because they've been there since the 70s and they were not stable. People were falling off. Yeah, but if Fritz told me, Sean, you got to come over to my house, I just got the booth from the Sopranos. Yeah. Oh, not only the booth, you got both seats. The table, the divider wall with the plaque that reads uh, reserved for the Soprano family. Oh, that's cool. I, like, if Fritz said he had that over, I'd be like, I'm going to go sit on that. I'll yeah. be over in a little. I'm I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, we're, I'm going to recreate the scene with you, Fritz. I don't know, but I'm going to see it. I'm going <laughs> to go check it out. Shoot me in the head, and then it'll uh-huh. all go to black. <laughs> How much do you all think it went for? Um, uh, I'm going to say 100. Okay, too high. Okay, uh, ninety-two thousand. I need, I need this, Sabrina, to be like the host of Prices Right. I mean, it's just like when you go, when you go, it's like a hundred thousand dollars. Well, like, well, I guess it was a steal. It was not. Do you want to give a guess? Seventy thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. Sixty-two. It was eighty-two thousand six hundred dollars. Oh, that's almost a hundred thousand yeah, dollars. That's very <laughs> impressive. Uh, but it's not yours. However, you can own something very special. I mean. You have collections when it comes to this film. Franchise. Wait for it. Sea Lane is your favorite version of their theme. Star Wars. Yeah, Uh, baby. And then... uh, Star Wars. (laughs) Here is a Star Mm -hmm. Wars auction for you by people who were actually in it. It was a very rare trove of franchise memorabilia now up for sale in an L.A. auction house called Prop Store. Very yeah. creative name. That's where I get all my props. And this is um, the store. from the collection of Anthony Daniels, who played C-3PO for over 40 years. All right, so this is legit stuff then. I'd just send you the link uh, of, uh, and click the slideshow because they said um, we have the most memorable items, and then we have a few head scratchers. Now, okay. the first one that comes up is Ooh. C-3PO's head. Hey, that's pretty big. Like, if you I'd had say. this... That's cool right there. That's iconic. Uh, he yeah. said he uh, didn't know where the urge to purge came from. All this stuff he's lived with for 50 years. Uh, they've been in cupboards, drawers, and, and attics. But he said it's uh, well, it's time for me to get rid of it, and it's too good to throw away. So why not make a bunch of money? A statue from Lucasfilm congratulating him for 40 years of service is also up. And the 18-inch C-3PO statue made out of Legos. I see the also hands. Up. Is there some sort of like robo hands that he's he's selling here? Are those that are fingers cool? move? Can you find uh, them around somewhere? I don't know. It's, it's Can you imagine getting that kind of uh... a- estimated at sixty thousand dollars for those ones though. That's gonna be a, good. Some of the scripts, like Star Wars: A New Hope, the script for that. That's those rad. Cool. I love yeah. old scripts. Yeah, that's fun. So there you have it. Uh, March twelfth until the fourteenth. That'll be up and ready for you to spend what, all your money on. What's the uh, starting price on this fragment of the Millennium Falcon? Because uh, uh, that's, the, I mean, I, I get that it's cool that it's part of the How can three you prove grand. that, though? I mean, you could also go to a junkyard and be like, this is from the Millennium Falcon and not an old uh, Volkswagen. You know what it says? It says number two out of 11. So I feel like he just had some chunks and he just smashed them up. 
And he was like, now I've got 11 chunks. Uh-huh. And then he's $3,000 a he's piece. He's going to make some good money from that. Somebody will tell you what. Um, and no money for this guy, but he does have a species of Jurassic worm named after him, everybody. Congratulations. Nice. Woo. Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper is right, and good God, is this thing ugly. Scientists I think it looks pretty cool. 190 million year old marine worm called Serpula Alice Cooperi. Nice. What are you doing with your life? Mm-hmm. It was discovered by amateur amateur geologist uh, Mete Holstead. No, he, he might have been an amateur geologist. <laughs> Did I say amateur? Oh. <laughs> uh, on the Danish Isle of Bornholm. So uh, they studied it, and it was researched. Now it's at the Natural History Museum of Denmark, and they looked at it, and they were like, this looks like Alice. We're going to name it after him. So congratulations. Do you have it up, uh, Sean? Uh, let me see. Wait, what's it called? I uh, know. I sent you the screenshot of it. Go right above oh, okay. the Star Wars uh, Just give me one there. second. Give me one second beep, boop, here. Beep, boop. I'm giving you a second. Uh, being both a... Oh, that's an animal that you sent me? I didn't even know this was an animal. Yeah. It looks like a piece of jewelry. Well, that's Alice yeah. Cooper to the right, and then that's... That's the worm right there. I thought it was like I thought it was a fancy like umbrella or it's something. A, it looks like a mask that you would have at Mardi Gras. It yeah. uh, it's yeah, actually sure. a crown of tentacles. All right, yeah. and it's a protective tube, uh, like a shell, and it had hid to avoid predators, and apparently hid so well that it avoided archaeologists until they just found it. And why why Whoa. did they name it after Alice Cooper? Just because uh, it rules? He's just a huge fan of metal and rock music, and I think based on the. The tubes and the tentacles coming out, it kind of looks like Alice. I have no idea, but congratulations nonetheless. All right. On the boob tube, we had the 11th season premiere of The Masked Singer on Fox, Survivor on CBS, Animal Control on Fox as well, the second season premiere of Extraordinaire on Hulu, and you can catch or maybe not see him at all, John Cena on Fallon. Follow your dreams on me on Instagram, at Sabrina Ambra. Get your tickets for Just OK 8, realradio.fm slash just OK. And say with me, America. Smoke weed every day. Yeah. Thank you, Sabrina. When we come back, it is on, friends. Fritz on the street. The showdown, the battle. Sea Lane says he has confidence today, but will he be the victor? I don't think so. We're going to shut Ooh. him down and disassemble the Sea Lane machine today. Let's make him cry. As we find out who wins, and if we represent you and we win in Fritz on the Street, you get your hands on this, the Fritz Magnet, which you can find at thenewsjunkie.com. So now's the time for you to guess our, uh, get our attention, rather, and we'll all pick somebody. We'll fight for you in Fritz on the Street. If we win, you win. That's how it goes. And that is coming up next on the News Junkie. It's like a text message. With your voice, the talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Traveling on I-4 this afternoon, there's a bit of delays due to an accident. Eastbound approaching State Road 429, the shoulder's blocked there. Orange Avenue, there's delays. The right lane is blocked due to an accident. Southbound at Anderson Street, a bit of congestion on Colonial Drive due to an accident. Eastbound approaching Apopka Vineland Road. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Last year, more clients hired Morgan & Morgan than ever before. We now have more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Protecting America. Fighting for you. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Find your new career. The Florida Jobs Now Job Fair, March 13th at the Orlando Science Center. More info at FLJobsNow.com. It's March, and the countdown continues to Just OK 8. Spend your St. Patrick's Day weekend with the three best friends you never knew you had. And some of their best friends, like Baby Sloth, Young Tapes, The Shaboom, Savvy's Little Helpers, and a band from Sean and C. Lane that has yet to be named. So obviously they put a lot of thought into this. Just OK 8, Saturday, March 16th at the Plaza Live. Presented in part by JustCallMode.com. Get your tickets now at RealRadio.fm slash Just OK. Ah, winter. With its cold, dry air causing that not-so-nice winter nose feeling. Thankfully, you don't have to wait for warmer weather to clear sinus congestion and send winter nose packing. All you need is Navage Nasal Care. 
Navage helps soothe the inflamed nasal passages that are often part of colds and infections. It flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your sinuses to give you the soothing moisture you need. Navage also sucks out the other irritants trapped in your nose, viruses, dust, bacteria, and germs too. Winter might feel like it drags on forever, but Navage works quickly, helping you breathe more clearly in just 30 seconds. No decongestants required. Navage is a drug-free solution that helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Get Navage today and make winter a little more bearable. Navage is available online at navage.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Clean nose, healthy life. Hey there, homeowners. Russ Rollins here. Are you tired of staring at a cold, unused pool? It's time to make a change. Spring is the perfect time to add solar heat to your pool and enjoy it year-round. Solar Source customers, they enjoy family time, nighttime pool parties, movie nights, birthdays, and even low-impact workouts. Don't let your pool be a monthly expense with no enjoyment. Schedule a free consultation from solarsource.com slash monsters. Remember, friends of Russ Rollins save even more money. The hit true crime podcast, Paper Ghosts is back with a haunting mystery in the shadows of the Ozarks. Season 4 unravels a darkly intriguing cold case from 1989 as a community continues to search for answers about a missing girl, various suspects, and a potential connection to BTK. It's gone from, okay, we don't think something's quite right to there's some worry going on now because now we've found some of her clothing. Listen to Paper Ghosts on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. A fifth third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a Fifth Third better. That's what a Fifth Third better means. This is banking a Fifth Third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. Save time and money with the aluminum fence in a box from Fence Outlet. It comes with everything you need for an Average backyard of 120 feet starting at 2365. Go to fenceoutlet.com today for more information and store locations. License numbers C10252 and C10803. Paid for by government.com. Here's your chance to get five iconic United States silver dollars spanning the last 150 years in one amazing set. Experts agree this is a must-have for silver coin buyers. That's right. All five silver dollars are legal tender official United States mint coins. If you call 1-800-386-7194 right now, we'll send you this ultimate five-piece American silver dollar set with each silver coin in extremely fine or brilliant uncirculated condition. Guaranteed. This set includes every type of U.S. silver dollars in American history issued from 1878 to 2024. Call 1-800-386-7194 now to secure your 150 years of U.S. silver dollars five-piece set. Plus, receive a bonus display case, an information booklet, and free shipping. Don't miss your chance. Call 1-800-386-7194 now to secure your five-piece set of iconic U.S. silver dollars before they are gone. That's 1-800-386-7194. Contact Tax Relief Helpers for details and restrictions. Attention anyone that owes money to the IRS. The IRS has restarted aggressive enforcement actions against taxpayers who owe back taxes that were temporarily suspended for COVID. If you owe $10,000 or more, you must hear this because now is the time to clear your IRS tax debt. A special toll-free number has been established so you can stop penalty fees, avoid liens, levies, and other hostile measures by the IRS. Call Tax Relief Helpers right now at 800-374-2103. Tax Relief Helpers will provide you with the maximum protection afforded by law. I got behind on my taxes and owed $48,000. I didn't know what to do. I called and they got my bill lowered to just $3,500. I owed $87,000 in taxes and it was scary. I got the amount I owed down to just $3,500. I saved $83,500. If you owe money to the IRS, don't wait another day. Call 800-374-2103 right now before the IRS enforces liens, levies, and other aggressive measures. The call and consult are absolutely free. Call now. Call 800-374-2103. 800-374-2103. 800-374-2103. Over $6 billion in tax refunds were flagged by the IRS for possible identity theft in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, LifeLock will reimburse you to the limits of your plan. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with promo code CLAY. 
Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, your favorite drafts are poured at a frosty 29 degrees, and rare barrel-aged whiskeys are served just the way you want them. It's bigger game days and bolder fight nights. I mean, where else can you find a scratch kitchen that always comes in clutch? Every day, from lunch to late night. Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Get wings the way you want them. Try Twin Peaks wings, bone-in breaded, naked, smoked and grilled, or boneless in your favorite saucer rub. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Find out at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. They're best friends. Unless they're fighting. Are they fighting? It's the. game in all of radio and here is how things are going to shape up today as always on the show we will all pick somebody we're going to fight for you and fritz on the street if we win you win you're the victor when we snatch victory from the hands of defeat and fritz on the street and i have chosen my person who i'll be representing happy birthday to dj rage oh, yeah. and dj rage i am picking you if i win you get your hands on the fritz magnet don't get your hopes up too high though we'll see what happens sabrina who are you picking today uh, i just went through my message requests on instagram no uh, user picture but all right goofy 729 Goofy729, we'll take Thank it. Thank you for making an Instagram just to be picked for Fritz on the street. And what about you, C-Lane? I will be picking Evil Eye. All right, Evil Eye for C-Lane, and we are all set up and ready to go. Now for the big question. Fritz, are you ready? Hell yeah, man. Here we go. Let's do Fritz on the street. Now it's time for Fritz on the street. Hello, Sabrina. Hello, C Lane. Hello, Sean. Hi, Fritz. Hey, hey Fritz. Fritz. Hello. Fritz on the street, sponsored by Mo DeWitt. Injured on the go. Just call Mo. 866 Call Mo. That number, 866 Call Mo. In first place with 70 points, we have Mr. Christopher Lane. Yeah. In second place with 65 points, we have Miss Sabrina Ambra. Woo. And in third place with 59 points, we have Sean Wasson. Ah, damn, man. So we got 70, 65, and 59. All right. It's all right. Anyone's game. Yeah, it's anyone's game. Today is the day. I'm focused and I'm locked in today. That's right. Ah. There are eight questions, four current event questions, and four general knowledge trivia questions. If you think you know it, chime in for that bonus point. Free chime. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, go ahead. I was just going to ask if you did the, you're back to trivia now? I am back. All right. Back in black. The bitch is back. <laughs> How many <laughs> teams did you have? Were they all hammered? We had 11 teams. Uh, it was a pretty good showing. And it was we a had, good comeback. Yeah. And we had 10 participants. Um, nice. And um, I got, I think, three bottles of liquor from people given, oh. giving us Woo. gifts. Oh. That's nice. Yeah, it was very sweet. So if you there think you, you know go. it, chime in for that bonus point. And away we go. <sighs> what Question a- number one. Recently, who announced they would be stepping... Sabrina. Sabrina? That'd be Nikki Haley. That is incorrect. Okay. Recently, who announced they would be stepping down as minority leader of the Today. U.S. C-Lane? Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell is correct. Full Where question. am I? Recently, who announced they would be stepping down as minority leader of the U.S. Senate? C-Lane, out of eight answers, how many do you think said Mitch McConnell? Five. Five. Six. Six for Sabrina. Three. And three for Sean. Question number one. With answers of three, five, and six. Recently, who announced mm. they would be stepping down as minority leader of the U.S. Senate? Mitch McConnell. Bitch McConnell. I mean, Mitch McConnell. Sorry. Uh, it's not her, right? No, it's not. I don't know. McConnell? The guy with the jowls. Pass. Uh, Mitch McConnell. <laughs> Mitch McConnell. Uh, Mitch McConnell. Oh! That would be se- seven? Yeah, seven. So, Sabrina, with a guess of six, seven, picking up one six. point. All right, cool. One point for Sabby. Moving it sounded on. like six. It did sound like six. <laughs> it did. Moving on now to question number two. two points, say. It's about music and also a state. Should we check to see if it was six or? Yeah, you want me to play it again? 
Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, yeah. Recently, who announced they would be stepping down as minority leader of the U.S. Senate? Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell. Sorry. Two. Two. No, it's not. I don't know. McConnell. The guy with the jowls. Pass. Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell. Uh, Mitch McConnell. Uh, that's six. Yeah, six. So that means yeah. Sabrina's picking up two points. Ding, ding, ding. And Sealand is picking up one point. Why did I do that? <laughs> because we want to be I call fair. For going back, I, I called for going back to the tape, and I got zero points out of it, and everybody else got a bunch. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. You did the right thing, Thank Sean. Thank you, Sean. Mm-hmm. It's very honest of you. Yep. We go on now to question number two about music. What Midwestern state shares its name with the title of a 1982 Bruce Springsteen album? Sealand. Sealand. Spring. Uh, Bruce Springsteen album. Oh, Brucey boy. Midwestern state, you said? Mm-hmm. Uh, Born in the U.S. Wisconsin. That is incorrect. Sean. Sean? Iowa. That is incorrect. <sighs> this is the part where I don't name the right state in the Midwest. Let's what? go with New Mexico. That would be Nebraska. <laughs> Nebraska. Right. Sealand, out of eight <laughs> answers, know. how many do you think said Nebraska by Bruce Springsteen? Oh, yeah. I'm going to do um, one. One. Two. Two for Sabby. Four. And four for Sean. Question two. With answers of one, two, and four. Ding, 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 ding. What would you guys four. say about Nebraska? What Midwestern state shares its name with the title of a 1982 Bruce Springsteen album? Oklahoma? Missouri? Nebraska. What? Arizona. Nebraska? Nebraska. I have no idea. One more. Ohio. Nebraska? That would be four. Bitch. Sean's picking up two points. <laughs> and we move on to question Go number to the one more like you didn't know yeah, you were already you know getting it. I don't pay attention to your guesses. I'm in my head. I'm trying to play the game. I don't even listen to anything else going on. It's like a, a pro on the field, man. I love it. Wow, As what a say. change in attitude from that very first question we had right before. I Tunnel vision. only got one. Yep. All right. Question three. A massive jailbreak of gang members. Ceiling. Start- Ceiling? Um, 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 Haiti. Haiti is correct. Wow. A massive jailbreak of gang members threatens to overthrow democracy in which island nation? Ceiling, out of eight answers, how many do you think said Haiti? Um, six. Six? Mm. Four. Four for Sabrina. Four. And four for Sean. Copy Terrifying count. news, for sure. Question three with answers of four and six. Ding, 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 ding. Someone knows their gangs. A massive jailbreak of gang members threatens to overthrow democracy in which island nation? Haiti. 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 Two. Haiti. Three. Philippines. Philippines? Haiti. Was it Haiti? Yeah. No, it wasn't Haiti. Mm. Yeah. Was it? Mm-hmm. Oh, crap. Okay. That would be six. All right. That means C Lane is hitting a three pointer on that one. Cool. And we move on to question four. Question four is halfway right here on Fritz on the Street. After question four, I'll tell you who is leading on the day. Question four What poison is known for having the aroma of bitter almonds? Sabrina. Sabrina? <sighs> one of my favorite poisons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, favorite poison? Yep, sure do. Don't drink your coffee. It would be the good old fashioned poison of. Of anthrax. That is incorrect. Sea lane. Arsenic? That is incorrect. Sean. Sean. Ricin? That would be cyanide. Ah. Cyanide. Sea lane, you you got question three right. We will start with you. Out of eight answers, how many do you think said cyanide? Uh, Two. Two? Two. Two for Sabrina. Three. And three for Sean. Question four with answers of two. And three. What poison is Damn known it. for having the aroma of bitter almonds? Strychnine? Cyanide? Oh, man. I don't know. Arsenic? Cyanide. Uh, cyanide. 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 Wow, everyone knows their poison. That's, That's insane. They're cool. I mean, there's not a lot of poisons that are really just like on off the top of your dome throwing out there. All I could think there. about was like the apple from Snow White. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what you put in there. So let's see. After- cyanide. Yeah. <laughs> After That's four why. questions, four remaining in first place with five points, we have Christopher Lane slash Evil Eye. Ooh. Hey, he's a nice guy. You don't got to boo Evil Eye. No, we're booing you. No, boo. Boo. specifically to see Lane. Lane. Lane boo. Then we have a tie for second and third place, two points each. <laughs> Sabrina Amber slash Goofy729 and Sean Watson slash DJ Rage. 
Look at us go. Now going on to question number five. Which European country legalized abortion as a country? Uh, what you say? I said it's a ban. Uh, France. France is correct. Wait, wait. As a constitutional right no, now. No, baby. Uh, Sean, out of eight answers, how many do you think said France? Five. Five. Four. Four for Sabrina. Five. And five for Celine. Question five with answers of four and five. Ding, 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 ding. Who's getting it? Which European country legalized abortion as a constitutional right? England just doing England. Uh, France. Germany. Is that France? Switzerland. Uh, Is it France? I thought I saw France. France? That would be five. What? That means Sean is picking up a three-pointer, and C Lane is picking up two points. Sabrina, with a guess of four, picking up one. Great. Moving on to question six. It's about a presidential assassination. Who became president after William McKinley was assassinated? Can you repeat the questions a little more? C Lane. C Lane. Taft. That is incorrect. Sean. (laughs) Sean. Are you singing this song? Good old (laughs) Chester A. Arthur? That is incorrect. I'll take the question again. Who became president after William McKinley was assassinated? McKinley. McKinley. That was... Keep saying... That was, um... Jefferson. That would be Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Sean. Kept saying Lyndon B. Johnson. That was Kennedy, right? Yeah. Sean, you got question five right. We will start with you. Out Stupid. of eight answers, how many do you think said Teddy Roosevelt? Four. Four. Two. Two, two for Sabrina and two for <laughs> Celine. Makes it easy. Question six with answers of two and four. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, who knows that old song? Who bitch? became president after William McKinley was assassinated? Uh, Taft. Was that Roosevelt? Ah. I don't know. That was uh, Teddy Roosevelt. I don't know. I hate presidents. Oh, Roosevelt. Ah. Johnson. Roosevelt. That's four. So uh, Sean is picking up two points on that one. Uh, I yeah. hate presidents is <laughs> base. That is just the all in general. Never liked a single one of them. Yep. I think she hates right. president questions, but yeah, probably. No, that's two. All right. We have, or maybe both. We have two questions remaining. Looking forward to your vote. Go, yeah, go on <laughs> to question seven. Last week, which American actor and comedian passed away? Sabrina. Sabrina. Sean. Sabrina. That was. Oh God. Oh my gosh. Curb your enthusiasm. I am not done. See you later. See you later. See you later. Okay, that's so annoying, and now you've thrown me off, so I'm going to elongate. And that was. John. John. It's so annoying. John. I'll turn off both of your microphones right now. How about that? John. C Lane. C Lane. Richard Lewis. Richard Lewis is correct. Man. Cursing right now. I'm cursing so many <laughs> words. Celine out of eight answers. How many do you think said Richard Lewis? Passed away at the age of 76. Six. Six. Seven. Seven for Sabrina. Sorry, Goofy. Five. <laughs> and five for Sean. Question seven. Give up. With answers of five, six, <laughs> and seven. Last week, which and American seven. actor and comedian passed away at the age of 76? Richard Lewis. Richard Lewis? Richard Lewis? Oh, that was Richard Lewis. Yeah. I don't know. Can't remember. Pass again. Larry Great. David. That would be four. Mm. So Sean with a guess of five, picking up one point. Yeah! We now move on to question number eight. But before we do, let's take a look at the scoreboard leading on the day. We have a tie. Eight points each. C Lane slash switched. Evil Eye. <laughs> and Sean Wasson slash DJ Rage. In All third right. place with three points, we have Sabrina Ambra slash Goofy729. <laughs> Just happy to be here. It's a, it's I okay. like how he's Goofy729. It's yeah. so <laughs> random and made up. There were 728 Goofies yeah. that already took up those uh, Instagram <laughs> handles. 725. Damn it. 726. Damn it. Uh, Moving on now to question number eight. What is the capital of <gasps> Poland? Ceiling. Ceiling. Krakow? That is incorrect. Sean. Sean. Warsaw. Warsaw is correct. Mm. Sean now takes the lead. Poland City. Sean, out of eight answers, how many do you think said Warsaw? Five. Five. Three. Three for Sabrina. Four. And four for C-Lane. Question eight. With answers of three, four, and 
Palestine. What is the capital of Poland? No! Warsaw. Warsaw? Warsaw. Warsaw? Warsaw? Krakow. Pass. Poland City. <laughs> oh my god. I should get a point for that. Is it really Warsaw? <laughs> Warsaw? Okay. That would be six. That means, Sean, with a guess of five, you're picking up one point. And that means winning on the day with 10 points is Sean Wasson slash DJ Rage. In second place. Do the wide shot. He's by himself dancing. (laughs) In second place. I want to see this. In second place with eight points, we have Christopher Lane slash Evil Eye. And in third place with three points, Sabrina Ambrose slash Goofy729. That means in first place (laughs) and still winning on Fritz on the Street with 78 points, Christopher Lane in second place. Yeah. With 69 points, Sean Wasson. Oh. And in third place with 68 points, Sabrina Amber. A little bit of a shakeup, and that is Fritz on the street. Thank you, Fritz. Thank you, Fritz. Fritz, you're here. <laughs> Don't take it out on me. <laughs> Maybe it was Goofy's fault. Goofy527 brought the bad <laughs> luck to you. Couldn't if recover only from that. a profile that. picture. Goofy 729, that's what it was. Damn it, man. All right, congrats, DJ Rage. Uh, happy birthday. And he email do be me. winning. He just got the max junkie.com. Did he really? Yeah. What the hell? Guys, he got a windfall coming in on his birthday. That's nice. Uh, enjoy your max scenes, number one, because yeah. awesome place, delicious food. food, all that good stuff. But uh, enjoy your Fritz Magnet. You can only get those by winning via proxy. Fritz on the street. So email me tips at the news no Fritz, please. Anymore. Please tell me. That's, that's how I feel the vibe is for me. I had to scroll a lot to find somebody who was like asking for me. And I'm like, I went by like six Sabrina so far. What is happening here? Oh, no, no. Maybe this will help me for next week. Uh, Fritz, you going to hang out with us? I would love to. Yes. Yeah. All right. We are going to hang out with Fritz. And when we come back, we're going to learn about there's a movie that is a bit of a demand to pull this movie from theaters. And this seems kind of dumb to me, or a lot dumb, but we'll go over what the movie is, what's happening, and also talk about why speed dating, of all things, (laughs) all cursed things, Uh is coming back with a vengeance. That is coming up next on the News Junkie. Every day this week on the Jim Colbert Show, it's your chance to join members of the Jim Colbert Show in a suite at the Kia Center to see comedian Tom Segura on March 14th. For your chance to win, just listen to the Jim Colbert Show weekdays starting at 3 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Watch out for an earlier accident. Authorities are still clearing up southbound on Orange Avenue approaching Anderson Street. There's a bit of delays due to an accident on US 192 westbound approaching Ponce Seattle Boulevard. And traveling on I-4, there's a bit of delays eastbound before US 27 and approaching State Road 429. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. $5 finger licking deals are back at your local KFC. Choose from three delicious options, a two-piece meal with a drum, thigh and buttery biscuit side, and eight-piece chicken nuggets or two chicken little sandwiches. Only available at select participating locations, not online. Tax extra, it's finger licking good. Today's Central Florida job market is more competitive than ever. But don't be discouraged. Attend the Florida Jobs Now Job Fair, Wednesday, March 13th, from noon to 4 p.m. at the Orlando Science Center and connect with over 70 recruiters right here in Central Florida. Some even offering on-the-spot interviews. Your next career is right in front of you. Join us at the Florida Jobs Now Job Fair on Wednesday, March 13th, from noon to 4 p.m. at the Orlando Science Center. 777 East Princeton Street, Orlando, Florida, 32803. That's from noon to 4 p.m. More information at fljobsnow.com. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Sunnyside Electric. Oh, hi. I'm worried about my electrical panel. For static 
make electricity problems involving your cat, press 1. No, my electric panel. For all other inquiries, press 2. Don't even have a cat. Fine. What's your problem then? My electric panel. It's making sort of a humming noise. Impossible. If your panel is working normally, it should be silent. I know. That's why... Have you tried using those noise-cancelling headphones? What? Then you won't hear the humming. How does that help? It'll get you off my back. This would never happen with Frank Gay. But you didn't call Frank Gay. No, but I'm calling them now. When you have an electrical problem, you need help now. A helpful operator to guide you, qualified electricians to diagnose, and repair your electric panel and keep it safe and functional. That's the Frank Gay way. Wish I'd called Frank Gay in the first place. Sorry, can't hear you. I'm wearing my noise-canceling headphones. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Why are you dressed like a hockey goalie in our living room? Well, you know how I said that we really needed to save more? So you're dressed like a goalie because you make saves? Yes. Maybe we should just go to Navy Federal Credit Union. They have tons of great savings and investment options, like share certificates with sky-high rates. Oh, what a save! <sighs> Grow your finances with the official military appreciation partner of the NHL, Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Savings products insured by NCUA. Investment products are not insured, not obligations of Navy Federal, and may lose value. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. Call A1 Garage today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. Hey, everybody. Jim Colbert here for my friends over at Life Imaging FLA. Let's spread the word this month and save some lives with proactive health care. We do that with Life Imaging FLA's free heart scan. I go personally try to get 50 friends and family over there. Started with my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, and here's why. The testimonials coming out are simply amazing. People's lives are being saved, and it's a simple approach to proactive health care. Don't wait till there's a problem. Learn beforehand. You can do that with this scan, and then take that information to your primary care doctor and build that life plan. There are no dyes with this test. There are no injections. You don't have to take off your clothes. It only takes a few minutes. Take control and call Life Imaging FLA today. Get that free heart scan. Again, just a few minimum requirements and it is a $699 value. Pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, and say the keyword free heart scan. That's it. Pound 250, say the keyword free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. Make that call today. Make 2024 the year you take care of your long-term health care. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto-dial text message from my heart media. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the Injury Law Firm of Kaufman and Lind. Yes, another attorney commercial. When people ask me what they should look for when they're hiring an attorney, I make it pretty simple. One, has your attorney been practicing for more than 10 years? Two, do they pick up the phone when you call? And three, do they actually care about you? If this works for you, contact us at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546, office or land. McDonald's McCafe Ice Coffee wakes you up like the perfect song. The 100% Arabica beans get your head nodding. Yeah, then the cream drops like a smooth bass line. Uh-huh. Add some ice to chill it down and some French vanilla flavor. There you go. Or change it up and go with caramel. Either way, it's a stone cold classic. Start your day with a $1.49 McCafe iced coffee available during breakfast hours only. Music to my ears. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. My day just flows better when I make my first stop McDonald's. I can choose two faves and save big with a bundle of savory sausage McMuffin or flaky sausage biscuit with crispy hash browns for breakfast for $2.79. Or I can make Mickey D's my last stop. Lunch, dinner, a late night snack perhaps. When I bundle a crispy McChicken or juicy McDouble with delicious small fries for only $3.69. Now my day is made the tastiest way when I bundle and save at McDonald's. ba da ba 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 Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid with product served. Over $6 billion in tax refunds were flagged by the IRS for possible identity theft in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, LifeLock will reimburse you to the limits of your plan. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with promo code CLAY. This year full of real radio is brought to you by Crimeline.org. Give a tip anonymously. 
iHeart Podcast update this week on your free iHeart Radio app. Math and Magic, stories from the frontiers of marketing with Bob Pittman, Season 6. Join iHeart Media Chairman and CEO as he analyzes the math and magic of marketing, sitting down with today's most gifted disruptors. Marketing School, digital marketing and online marketing tips. Actionable digital marketing lessons learned through years of being in the trenches. Office Hours with Mike Stein. Mike sits down with the world's most important chief executives to answer your most pressing questions about leadership, career, and life. Hear these podcasts and more on your free iHeart Radio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Need more animals, more gators, and more fun? Y'all need Gatorland. Because you're never too old to learn something stupid. This is the News Junk. And Jillian emails, and she says, as of uh, today, the cruising, the 15 drinks, that's a challenge accepted. She says, I've been cruising Carnival for a long time, and depending on the day and length of the trip, you may not reach 15 drinks, but... Did I mention I'm a quote-unquote professional drinker, she oh, says. Oh. Welcome to our show. Yeah, she knows how we feel around here. She goes, when you do reach 15 drinks, your full-on you know, limit for the day passing into the profitability zone, it'll be embarkation day, which that's like that's when you leave, right? When you embark on your journey, I guess. Um, days at sea, so when there's like not a lot to do to distract you. Uh-huh. When you stay on the boat instead of going on shore excursions, she said on those days you can easily reach 15 yeah, drinks and or, it makes sense. Or uh, usually, and I haven't been on any other cruise line but Royal Caribbean, but your um, your drink package usually extends to whatever private island that they have and those sort of festivities. Oh, that's cool, too, man. When you go out on, like, their little the private island and everything's still free out there. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a, that's it life so right strange. there. so strange. Like, the last one I went to, one of the islands was Bimini. And Bimini, uh-huh. I went to as a child. Like, my dad lived there shortly at, when he was a kid. It's um, a, a boat, a day's boat drive, like your standard boat, not a cruise right. away. And it's very, you know, islandy. And there I was with this beautiful, like, hey guys, welcome. Get on this fancy golf cart. Don't worry about that other side because we've got so many drinks for you. Like, they completely took over oh, one did side they really? of the island and just kind of kicked everybody out. Yeah, because some please. Uh, all right, so that's weird. That's a kind of interesting breakdown. Because they did, some they did the- it with Haiti, too, did they not? Well, some of the places, that's what the Dominican Republic did with with Haiti. Um, Some of the cruise lines flat out own their own islands and they'll be smaller and there's not a ton going on there. But it is weird because for a decent portion of the year, people live on those little islands basically by Mm -hmm. themselves. And then sometimes it's like an established island and they just use like a big portion of it, which sounds like what you're talking about in Bimini. Actually, Um, uh, I think... As far as the ones that own their own island, they uh, sign a 99-year lease with the Bahamas. Really? Yeah, Holy like a really cow. cheap one. 99 uh, years? Al Burrito over on Twitch says, at the News Junkie, you still owe me an 8-bit. No, I don't, because it Very doesn't bit. exist anymore. Uh, if you win something, you have to be persistent. Keep emailing me until you get what you be get. Otherwise, aggressive. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to hunt you down and go, well, did I give this person that? No, that my desk is constantly full of 8 million things to work on and you got to stay on top of it. But uh, that's how most everybody gets something. If you email me, I'll almost always print out your email and it will go into this gigantic stack on my desk, which once a month I take the stack and I go through every one of the emails and get all of them done. Uh, it's the best thing I can do. Only uh, when one you, more person on the show. Uh, Jillian says, when you don't reach 15 drinks is if you feel like sleeping in on the cruise, if you're hungover from the first day, if you take a shore excursion for several hours, if you get off the boat and go to send your frogs or something of the sort, which seems like fun, if you spend so much in the casino over the years, you get free drinks while you play, and those don't count towards your 15 Wait, you have to, like, over the years, and then you get free drinks? I thought Somehow, maybe. So like, if, you like, start the to... first time, then you don't get free drinks? Kind of like well, a you casino, would... maybe? You just have yeah. to gamble your entire uh, life away? That's it. Like, Here's a rum and coke. That's it. Congratulations. Yeah. You, you get a rum and coke. 
Uh, and it's free, right? I love how one of my favorite things in the world is when people will buy into things like free or one, okay? And I'll, I'll tackle those separately. The first thing is when somebody says one, right? They'll say like, oh, I won this auction yeah. for this Star Wars memorabilia. And you're like, you didn't win. You just offered up the most money. You, you were the bought person, it. You yeah. bought it at auction. Yeah, you were the person who purchased it. You bought it. You didn't win it. Winning is when and it's applied that you got something for free. At a casino, like you can win. Sometimes you can lose, but you don't, you know, you know, win most of the time. The house wins, which is why it's all set up that way. And when it comes to free, like you go, oh, if you're in the casino, it's free drinks. But to Fritz's point, free drinks based on what? The fact that you spent eight grand while you were in there and lost six of it. And the, like that made it okay for them to give you those free drinks. We are such suckers as human beings. We're like, no, you get free drinks. If you're in there, we always do that. I know I have, I've become a victim of it myself. Yeah, for sure. I mean, just uh, uh, even not free drinks. I've been to places like I told you in um, uh, Springfield, Illinois, uh -huh. where we went to this bar that uh, like had bigger white claws than we were used to, you know, in Florida. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, and they were, but they were cheaper. They were like two fifty yeah. or three bucks for these gigantic white claws. There was also slot machines there. Ah. <laughs> of course Perfect. there were. So I mean, we we spent uh, you know a couple bucks on a couple of white claws and forty to sixty dollars in slot machines. Yeah, and that's what they do at the. If you ever go to one of the ports like Playa del Carmen or um, Cozumel or Cancun. What you'll find so many times, which at first I was like, hell yeah, these people know how to party. You go to the jewelry store and they have these bottles I've talked about on the show before of tequila. And you're like, free tequila? Are you kidding me? And you drink the tequila and they end up getting you to spend a bunch of money on the jewelry that's incredibly overpriced. It's not free. You know, like all this stuff is not It's there for a reason. Now, could you make that free? You could go in there, take the shot of tequila and be like, see you later, sucker. Bye. I ain't doing this anymore. But even my dad, as cheap as he was in his day, even my frugal, frugal father, he would pretend, right? And I think that's instilled in me a little bit. I hate that it is. But did you guys ever have your family go on the tour of the timeshare so that you could get, like, no, free tickets? But no, they I've did heard it. about it. They did it before me. And, uh, oh, man, it's so weird that you brought this up because I was just talking to Ashley about this. Um, You're going on a tour, she lane. Congrats. No. Nice. No, no, no. They, um, they, I, I, I kept seeing these deals where you get the free vacation. And I'm like, Mom, that's a free vacation. We got to do this. It's a free vacation. And she's like, No, your dad and I did that. I will never, ever do it again. It's <laughs> like they, you know, you have to sit through the certain sales pitch for the rest yep. of the vacation to be free. And just the the way that they like hammer you and just try to get try to part you with your money is it's he's it's not worth it. My dad though wouldn't want to let down the salespeople right away, so he'd be like, "Hmm, okay, so you get it two weeks a year, and there's a lot of there's a lot of useful things around here. Um, do you get any other discounts?" And like my dad would ask all these questions, and the guy would be like, "Well, of course, Mister Wasson, there are additional uh, benefits and discounts that you get." And he'd be like, "Tell me about those." We go through this whole thing hours and hours and hours, and then my dad would be like, uh, "I'm not going to get one for now, but I'll think about it. No, I'll, I'll follow up with you. Now, give me those uh, Disney tickets or whatever <laughs> it was." But he pretend he would pretend to the last, like right to the finish line, like what like I see scammers. Anthony. Yeah, like you. Like, Whatever like happened Celia. to that scammer we were trying to get on the phone with? Oh, man. Uh, the, I never got on the phone with a person, but I, I kept, like, sending the guy, like, fake receipts and pictures of uh, gift cards that were already, like, on the Internet that I just Googled. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm trying to find my last interaction with him. Because he was yeah, so pushy. He's Those like, of you who, like, did not listen, we thought for sure we were going to get this person on the phone, and they immediately declined C Lane's call. Yeah. He thought, they thought you were a woman also, right? Uh well I told them I was uh Angelina Jolie. Got it. And <laughs> makes sense. They're like, just get the gift cards and walk out of the Apple store. Please. Yeah, it was I was like, what if the the managers asked like, don't answer any questions? Uh let's see. I said uh I said the manager just saw me taking pictures of my gift card and said this is dangerous. I'm definitely going to get the money, right? It was like, hi, you'll definitely get your money after 24 hours of confirming your payment, and you haven't sent all the card and receipt. And then I was like, 
I think I want to just do the five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Take a picture of the receipt and send it to us here. The card isn't clear. Snap it again. Are you there? And I got the card, and it goes. This isn't the card you're to buy. This is an Apple gift card, and they sent me a picture of somebody holding an Apple gift card with the thing scratched off. No, and I'm like, Did you try to use that? No, no. <laughs> they uh, sent me a picture, as in somebody that they successfully scammed. They sent oh, me one of those pictures. Oh, jeez, oh, that's sad. I should have tried Whoa. to spend that so they couldn't use it. Dude, I would love to see their numbers. Oh, like they make this, a lot. Of all the people, like, you. what is there? One out of how many do they get to mm-hmm. actually go through with this process? Yeah, I think How they make some they? money. Eric says on YouTube, Sean is really embracing the old man role. Who prints out emails? You, buddy, you got no idea. Okay, oh, there's, there's, I, me? I have to do this to stay on top of things. I'm not going to like start some Google Doc of the people who I need to. No, you print out the email of the person who says, I won this, here's my address. And then I go, all right, now I know oh, what to do. I thought he was talking about for the show, like just in general, like your stack of stuff and some of its emails that you read. I'll print those out so I won't forget about them, too. Exactly. Exactly. We have, we have yeah. easily killed a, a forest of trees. Yes, I'm the absolutely. same way. I'm not. I, I'm here with Sean and in that sense of, like, I can't look at my email and hope that I'm going to leave it unread and I'll come back to it. It's I need yeah. to have that printed piece of paper on top of four pages as of uh, upcoming Just Okay 8, realradio.fm mm-hmm. slash Just Okay. Four pages Presented of by t- Mills there. To do mm-hmm. list. There, there has not been. To do, but that's also printed out, by the, the way. There, you have to. There has not been a solution presented to uh, any of us that I know of. An assistant. No, uh, that, that would be like an like a, an app for show prep, like that that you could rearrange your stories or have them in a row. Like, there's not really been no an app for that. It's yeah, just gotta, good you gotta waste paper. Yeah, Sorry. that's the way. That's the way it works for now. People go, no, just trust me. You got to do it this way. Do you think we do this job every day? Do you listen to us? Do you understand that we all know how to use technology very, very well? Like there's, there's a lot of technology based around the show. Yeah, if we're not, stupid. If we're not doing something, there's a reason we're not doing it. MFQ says all this cruise talk. I want to go on a cruise. TNJ cruise when? About that, we were working on that. When? And and then uh, there was an unfortunate thing that happened that put a stop to that. Um, yeah, you know, just to be clear, like the we had a sales guy who I used to work with way back in the day. He was like an incredibly nice guy, one of the greatest sales guys I've ever met in my life. And he was working on this deal for us to do these these cruises, and he died. The guy was a young guy, and so it, it was like and that was actually going to be happening. And uh, now I don't know what's happening with that. A uh, Joe There's says, no, no young go getter that like uh, left the funeral I'll early take the dead to. Guy's uh, job. <laughs> Pick up that client. <laughs> you would think around here, but no. Joe says, Haiti is a Caribbean country. You can't be an island country if you share the island with another country. The island's called Hispaniola. That's uh, how it works. Half of the island, well, not really, but there's a line between a portion of it, which is Haiti, where there are no trees, and it's much more impoverished, and the Dominican Republic, where there are beautiful trees and resorts, and they don't want anybody from the other side coming over onto their island. That's basically what you have. Okay, quick, because we're behind the eight ball and a little bit behind on time here. Something just filed for bankruptcy. we got to talk about that movie that they're trying to cancel in theaters. Speed dating, jury duty with updates on the case we were talking about yesterday, Jennifer Soto. This is one to watch for sure. We'll get to that. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. This is former Notre Dame quarterback Brady Quinn. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Progressive Insurance. Dartmouth College is now appealing the National Labor Relations Board's ruling that its men's basketball players are school employees. Over to College Hoops tonight, the slate includes a huge test for UCF. The Knights will entertain top-ranked Houston. And to the NBA, where the Magic are in Washington. It'll be the second leg of a back-to-back for them tonight. Orlando's won four in a row after they beat Charlotte. I'm Scott Davidson. Progressive makes bundling easy and affordable. Get a multi-policy discount by combining your motorcycle, RV, boat, ATV, and more. All your protection in one place. Bundle and save at Progressive.com. That's Progressive.com. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. 
I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. The World Poker Tour is taking over an entire Virgin Voyages luxury cruise ship for a week of sun, fun, and most of all, world-class poker tournaments. WPT Voyage departs from Miami on March 31st for six days at sea with a full slate of poker tournaments, including our $5,000 buy-in main tour event with a million-dollar guarantee. The adult-only cruise will stop in Grand Cayman and the Bahamas for golf, tennis, and pickleball events. Cap and start at just $1,500 per person, so book yours today on WPTVoyage.com. Paid for by government.com. Here's your chance to get five iconic United States silver dollars spanning the last 150 years in one amazing set. Experts agree this is a must-have for silver coin buyers. That's right. All five silver dollars are legal tender official United States mint coins. If you call 1-800-973-9717 right now, we'll send you this ultimate five-piece American silver dollar set with each silver coin in extremely fine or brilliant uncirculated condition. Guaranteed. This set includes every type of U.S. silver dollar in American history issued from 1878 to 2024. Call 1-800-973-9717 now to secure your 150 years of U.S. silver dollars five-piece set. Plus, receive a bonus display case, an information booklet, and free shipping. Don't miss your chance. Call 1-800-973-9717 now to secure your five-piece set of iconic U.S. silver dollars before they are gone. That's 1-800-973-9717. With new doors by Renewal by Anderson, you can cut back on energy usage, boost your home's curb appeal, and increase your comfort. Renewal by Anderson makes that transition easy for you thanks to a selection of beautiful, functional replacement doors that are as beautiful as they are convenient. I love pretty French patio doors, but in so many cases, they seem flimsy and over time can warp, not to mention the security concerns that can come with them. Renewal by Anderson is better because every patio door is built with their exclusive Fibrex material, which is two times stronger than vinyl and features a five-point locking system, which improves energy efficiency and better yet, an increased level of security. Renewal by Anderson has a great offer to help you get started during the month of March. Buy one window and or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com. Some restrictions apply. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. License number CGC15276. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier Factory Authorized Dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Over $6 billion in tax refunds were flagged by the IRS for possible identity theft in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, LifeLock will reimburse you to the limits of your plan. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with promo code CLAY. $5 finger licking deals are back at your local KFC. Choose from three delicious options, a two-piece meal with a drum, thigh and buttery biscuit side, an eight-piece chicken nuggets, or two chicken little sandwiches. Only available at select participating locations, not online. Tax extra, it's finger licking good. This year full of real radio is sponsored by Wasi's Meat Market, the best place to buy a big green egg. What's more exciting than a brand new iPhone with a dozen cameras? How about real radio on your iPhone? Just tell Siri to play real radio 104.1. Real, real, radio, radio, radio 104.1. No one's really sure what all C-Lane's buttons actually do. This is the new... Only 10 days away. Uh, that's uncomfortable, but it is coming up on March 16th at Plaza Live. We want you from all over this great country to be headed our way for Just OK 8, and you can get your general admission tickets while they last over at realradio.fm slash just OK. Oh, uh, yeah. We're ready for it, baby. It's yeah. so funny. Like going on uh, Tom and Dan earlier, trying to give them the breakdown of what's going to be there, and I'm like, mm-hmm. All right, so we have great bands, and we have Young Tapes. We have the Shabooms. We have Sabbath's Little Helpers. It's our one show a year. Um, we also have a Baby Sloth. 
And we also have uh, Willow Lauren, who will be, I, from what I understand, um, eating glass or walking on it, and then also, you know, something with a sword. And then we have Sean and Lane's band, and it's just like, it really is going to be an event that you are not used to, but we'll never forget. Right. Without it's going to be doubt. a lot of surprises. A, lot, a night of surprises, a big St. Patrick's Day bash. So we'll have, you know, uh, the liquor St. will be Pat's flowing. bash. And one thing you need to know, if you went to the last Just Okay, well, this year we're going to have way more bartenders. We're going to have, well, the whole place has been completely renovated, uh, and it's, like, brand new in Can't there. Wait. It's beautiful. So um, it's going to be an amazing event full of all sorts of great surprises for St. Patrick's Day, and we want to make sure that you're there. So go get your tickets now, realradio.fm slash Just Okay. Make sure you're listening on Friday. Moses has some stuff he wants to trickle out, leak Ooh. out there. And we'll see how things go in the final 10 days before Just OK 8. Right now. All right, here we go. Let's do jury duty. Court is now in session. So put your phone down and pay attention. Before we call the bailiff over to whip your ass, you're now on jury duty with the news junkie. Jury duty brought to you by the one, the only Mo DeWitt of the DeWitt Law Firm. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO, 866-CALL-MO, or go to justcallmo.com. After an accident, lots of options out there for attorneys. Obviously, you see all the commercials. You see everything on the billboards. But you need somebody who's actually going to pick up the phone. They're going to listen to you. They're going to fight for you in your case. And they're not just going to drop you off and leave you alone or settle as fast as they can. You're going to get that a lot out there. Trust me on that. So what you got to do is make the right decision, 866-CALL-MO, or go to justcallmo.com. When you were younger, this is one way to date yourself just a little bit. All three of you, was there any type of, like, workout equipment or exercise fad thing that your parents had that you can remember growing up? Um, so they didn't have, it wasn't a piece of equipment, but I will never forget Jazzercise. Jazzercise was Jazzercise. big. Jazzercise, we, yeah. we went to. My mom did it, and then we had, like, that recreation center that was hosting it. We would go into the, like, daycare, Jazzercise daycare. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I got old enough, I got to be one of the counselors for that. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you were a counselor at a bunch of places. At, yeah. uh, this one I didn't know about. This is me not offering to babysit any children, just for the record. <laughs> Well, Rambo hits one of them here on Twitch, Nordic Track. By the that way, was yeah, one. Uh, we had the Thighmaster. That was pretty oh, cool. Oh, yes. Susan. <laughs> Thighmaster was dope. And um, just like different workout. I have equipment. an ab roller currently yeah, in my house because two. I got it at a yard sale. Yeah. Those are big. Those See, all these things kind of bring you back to a certain time because they keep reinventing the wheel. My parents had one that I don't remember what it was called, but you sat on the seat. And then you put your hands out onto the handlebars like this. Sounds like and you a sort of did like, ugh. Thing. Sort oh, the of did roar? one of those. The roar? It, no, it was, we Sibian? weren't rowing. It was a Sibian. No, no it wasn't what? a sex thing. Yeah, like, it wasn't handlebars up here, but it's kind of like handlebars. And you pulled into your waist and, like, kind of did a thing. And it was so big at the time. My parents were like, if we had this, we're going to be so fit. Let's get one. Put it out in the living room. Never, ever used it. See, like, anything like, like this Peloton. stand out for you? Well, no, that's what happens to them. No, we, didn't, we didn't have any of that. Oh, there's one of them. I think there was, I mean, there was there was equipment that we didn't use, but uh, I wouldn't say, like, any of the fad stuff. I think my dad just had, like, some weights and, like, a bench or something. I could be wrong, but I feel like this was one of the fad things. Bowflex is filing oh, for bankruptcy. Bowflex. I will never. It was the giant black guy that was, like, in the TV commercials, right? Ripped, Rip dude. Yeah, yeah. The guy, like, uh, well, that killer salespeople. P90X that also collected dust. P90X. I remember that. That didn't need equipment, though, correct? They had you have, like, the, the rubber band thing, oh, which yeah. the one time I did it, I had... Uh, it came from under my foot, and it hit me so hard in the arm that it was stuck, like, in a kind of a weird... <laughs> chicken wing? This is my, yeah, chicken wing shape. And I said, all right, I will never, ever do this again. But I, I think, uh, to Fritz's credit, I think there was uh, some uh, amount of P90X that you could do without buying any equipment. You just had to buy... Like the a videos DVD or or the DVDs. Yeah. yeah, well, the DVDs, the people in there were insane, and I hate them. Well, uh, this was at a time where you could download stuff that was available on DVD, so <sighs> we had some far. pirated P90X in my house at one point.
Rachel B says shake weight. And that, oh, shake absolutely. Weight, yeah. That's one of them that you will remember like this. And then there's always like ever present ones some like the treadmill. There's a bunch of folks who do this. But now this one is filing for Chapter 11. A Taiwan-based company is going to gobble up the assets for $37.5 million in cash. Damn, that's a big chunk still, though. Is it it must be in equipment. It must be that they have that much in equipment just laying around. Because uh, where else are they getting the value from? And the brand. The brand's worth something. Let's be real. We all know what Bowflex is. We have, we've all heard of it before. And it's out there, absolutely, for... Um, people to recognize. Yeah, but Bowflex like, also ha- like owns. Uh, they bought up Nautilus, Schwinn, and Stairmaster. Schwinn. Really? Nice. Yeah. Schwinn is well, at least was big back in the day. Oh, bikes, right? Stairmaster is pretty big. Yeah, these those are all pretty huge brand. Oh, yeah. Do you guys remember yeah. the Schwinn that we got from our old uh, rest in peace watering hole? No. It was uh, locked up in front of Finns, yeah. and um, the person who locks it up. Uh, then went on to try to buy some heroin and okay. was arrested. So it stayed locked up in front of that bar for a couple of days. And I was like, I want a bike. So I got You the- stole a drug out of <laughs> you, you said the same thing 10 years ago. Do you guys not remember this? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, I guess. Karma- there wasn't a whole lot of click saving done at that bar. <laughs> it was not, but I was like, I'll take it. Don't throw it away. Uh, and then I rode the bike, and I was like, this is my new life. I'm a biker gal. And then I parked it in front of my house, and someone stole just the front wheel of it. And I said, uh, that life is done, just like the app roller. It would be Ooh. hilarious if you had to try to explain yourself. Like, for example, if that bike, like if like some dog, drug dog, like, you know, like attached on that bike or, or, or what do they say? What, <laughs> signal. If the yeah. drug dog signaled at the bike because the, the guy that tried to buy the heroin, you know, had some crack or some meth like uh-huh, stuffed uh-huh. into one of the pipes and the, the, the officer I finds it. I it down. Okay. Thank you. Uh, did, yeah. Did you, you went in the insides of it and everything? Sure did. And then whatever I found, I smoked it and it was great A stuff. <laughs> it was a wild ride there for a couple of days. Not on the bike because uh, the front wheel was gone. Okay, people are saying that they've found the thing I was talking about. It it looks just like this, but this is there was a brand that was popular at the time. Oh, you like sat yes. I know seat, exactly you, what you're talking about. You like pull that into your waist. It's hard to explain. You're sitting on a seat. It's not a bike in the sense that it like it doesn't like have you're, wheels. You're riding a horse in that kind sense. of. Yeah. yeah, kind of like a fake ass horse. I don't but, think it did anything for your body. It just made uh, you feel like it would. Probably they hurt. said on the on the commercial, they were like, this thing is killer. You're really going to be ripped. It's going to be amazing. Um, but there you go. Those are some good brands, though, that they gobbled up with that Chapter 11 deal, C-Lane. Uh, That's not bad at all now mm-hmm. that I think about it. Okay, quick break. When we come back, we'll talk about the movie in theaters that they're trying to shut down, speed dating. Yeah, we'll get into it. And we'll find out what's happening with you as these dispatches keep coming in on a lovely Wednesday here. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. Orlando City returns to Inter and Coast Stadium to host Minnesota United FC this Saturday. Coverage begins at 7 p.m. on Real Radio 104.1. Doing a quick checkup on some of the major roadways. No major problems on State Road 429, the Greenway. Traffic is up to speed on the beach line, and it's pretty mellow on Florida's Turnpike. You could expect heavy delays on I-4 eastbound due to an accident approaching State Road 429. And authorities are clearing up an accident on Orange Avenue approaching Anderson Street. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Valvoline Instant Oil Change. At Valvoline Instant Oil Change, they're always quick, but never rushed. Stay in the comfort of your car for a quality oil change and 18-point maintenance check all in about 15 minutes. No appointment needed. Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Quick, easy, trusted. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Over $6 billion in tax refunds were flagged by the IRS for possible identity theft in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. 
which means if you lose money because of identity theft, LifeLock will reimburse you to the limits of your plan. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with promo code CLAY. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. The hit true crime podcast, Paper Ghosts, is back with a haunting mystery in the shadows of the Ozarks. Season 4 unravels a darkly intriguing cold case from 1989 as a community continues to search for answers about a missing girl, various suspects, and a potential connection to BTK. It's gone from, okay, we don't think something's quite right, to there's some worry going on now because now we've found some of her clothing. Listen to Paper Ghosts on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, homeowners, Russ Rollins here to talk to you about something serious, your power bill. Last summer was tough, but this year could be even worse. So don't wait until the last minute to get protection and savings from solar power and backup power. SolarSource has a new pay-as-you-go solar package that lets you start with an affordable base system and add solar panels over time. Plus, their pay-as-you-go battery backup is awesome, and it you add critical backup power as you go. Schedule a free consultation at solarsource.com slash monsters. Get ready for a stress-free summer. Contact Tax Relief Helpers for details and restrictions. Attention anyone that owes money to the IRS. The IRS has restarted aggressive enforcement actions against taxpayers who owe back taxes that were temporarily suspended for COVID. If you owe $10,000 or more, you must hear this because now is the time to clear your IRS tax debt. A special toll-free number has been established so you can stop penalty fees, avoid liens, levies, and other hostile measures by the IRS. Call Tax Relief Helpers right now at 800-374-2103. Tax Relief Helpers will provide you with the maximum protection afforded by law. I got behind on my taxes and owed $48,000. I didn't know what to do. I called and they got my bill lowered to just $3,500. I owed $87,000 in taxes and it was scary. I got the amount I owed down to just $3,500. I saved $83,500. If you owe money to the IRS, don't wait another day. Call 800-374-2103 right now before the IRS enforces liens, levies, and other aggressive measures. The call and consult are absolutely free. Call now. Call 800-374-2103. 800-374-2103. 800-374-2103. Sneezing, coughing, a stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then, a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navage immediately. This thing is amazing. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Paid for by Government.com. Here's your chance to get five iconic United States silver dollars spanning the last 150 years in one amazing set. Experts agree this is a must-have for silver coin buyers. That's right. All five silver dollars are legal tender official United States mint coins. If you call 1-800-973-9717 right now, we'll send you this ultimate five-piece American silver dollar set with each silver coin in extremely fine or brilliant uncirculated condition. Guaranteed. This set includes every type of U.S. silver dollar in American history issued from 1878 to 2024. Call 1-800-973-9717 now to secure your 150 years of U.S. silver dollars five-piece set. Plus, receive a bonus display case, an information booklet, and free shipping. Don't miss your chance. Call 1-800-973-9717 now to secure your five-piece set of iconic U.S. silver dollars before they are gone. That's 1-800-973-9717. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations like The Vinyl Experience. Just search Vinyl Experience and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. 
Free never sounded so good. Mills Air in business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South offers volume discounts for homeowners. The more you buy, the more you save. Our discounts start at the fourth window, and from there, the savings grow. New South can do this because we own our factory, and that's the power of Factory Direct. Visit us at New South Window. A1Garage.com. A1 from day one. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. <laughs> Filling you in on the shocking details. Just try not to pass out. Streets. Sesame Street. This is where one would not expect to see drama, I would think. Uh, what happened with Big Bird? But here we are regardless. Uh, let's all gather around and, and figure this out together. First things first, okay? Should there be anything about politics, loosely speaking, on Sesame Street? Like, should no. kids learn about that stuff with uh, all the, the, the characters on Sesame yeah, Street. Politics now has all this uh, this big umbrella. It's much bigger than before. Are you, are are you talking uh, about Democrat, Republican election kind of stuff? Or are you talking about slavery? Uh, uh, <laughs> right. Uh, you know. Um, let, let me give you some examples. Let me give you more concrete examples. Let's say there is a terrorist attack like 9-11 on the United States. Should the Sesame Street crew address that, or is it like, nope, this is like kids' land only? We don't talk about these kind of issues here. Yeah, uh, I think. Yeah, I think there's kind of a bubble that should exist. All right. I think that um, if it was something that was so traumatic for a lot of people that it's, uh, and nowadays, anything that is along those lines, they'll mm-hmm. be hearing about in school anyway. So if there's a Sesame Street way version of explaining it, then by all means. I think everybody's more okay with this than they're admitting. And let me push them a little bit more, all right? Because I already see Alicia's like, no, leave that S out of Sesame Street. Here, here's where I think all of these takes are stupid. Not, not uh, the takes that have been said so far, but most of the takes that you see on this, all right? Um, I don't think most people care if a cartoon or, or even something like Sesame Street weighs in on these sort of social things. Sure. I think they care how they weigh in on it. So let me give you another example from recent history with the pandemic. If Sesame street characters started talking about, Hey, what's going on? Or like, Hey, did you hear you you could get sick out there? If you had the Sesame streets characters talking about stuff in a very, very simple way that everybody agrees about, um, I don't think people would be pissed off. I think they get pissed off when they feel like the Sesame street characters joined a team that they're not on. You know, so like if the Sesame Street characters were going, hey, you know, there's this this disease that's spreading around and um, Elmo wants you to be safe. So Elmo wants you to wear a mask. You know, that's <laughs> that's one thing. But like if if it was like Elmo wants you to take the vaccine because vaccines are good and everybody uh, who says they're not is lying. Right. Then, you know, you're going to have some parents that are a little pissed off. If it was like Elmo thinks you should be careful around your grandma and your grandpa because they may be a little more susceptible to getting sick than you are. So make sure you wash your hands. Like, I think most people would go, that's fine. That's not a big deal. But if you've got, like, the pharmaceutical company CEO chit-chatting with old Cookie Monster and they're like, you should get all the jabs, (laughs) then I think, like, it really, it matters how it's handled, I think. Yeah. But... This this particular instance that got a couple of people fired up and one one very important person fired up, I thought was like the most innocent, dumb version of this ever. And it was Cookie Monster. 
And Cookie Monster was talking about how because of shrinkflation, his cookies have gotten smaller and he's pissed uh, off. <laughs> I was like, that's that just kind of funny. Thing. It's kind of like, hilarious. It was just kind of funny to me that Cookie Monster is like, yeah, man, they're, they're shrinking the size of everything. And in that sense, I'm like, all right, cool. So now the parents who are inundated with this programming, they get a little laugh that their kids don't really understand. Yeah. That's, yeah. I, I'm always about that. Like. I, I I talk about Miss Rachel all the time, and mm-hmm. it's kids love it, babies love it, but after a certain amount, like I could imagine it driving some parents crazy. But yeah. if you find some kids programming that allows you to also have a laugh while your kids are enjoying it, and they don't understand what these uh, jokes are about, like um, what was it, Secret Life of Pets? Yep. Definitely a kid's movie, but I was laughing my ass off. Yeah, that's they, a good they got a couple of jokes in there for yeah. adults, and, and it doesn't harm the kids in any way. And it's not like what, what people don't want is clunky, super partisan nonsense. And I don't blame them for not wanting that. It's annoying and, and obnoxious and just like shut up with all your political points of view. Keep them to yourself. But sometimes it's just like. Hey, Cookie Monsters talk about how the cookies are getting smaller. <laughs> like, that's kind of funny. And it, it's true, is it not? Like, shrinkflation is kind of a thing that we've been discussing as adults and stuff. Mm-hmm. Who got mad about it? Uh, Cookie Monster. Frank Oz. Frank Oz, oh. who was, like, a key okay. part of the whole Jim Henson world. Here's what he said. Frank Oz said on his official Twitter, I'm shocked to see a news article on Cookie Monster talking about shrinkflation. Jim would have, all, or all capital, never allowed this. The SS Muppets, mm, Sesame Street is what he's going for there. Right. Uh, yeah, the weird. Sesame Street Muppets <laughs> <laughs> need, okay. need to live in their own pure world, not our world. What has happened to the integrity of the character and the integrity of the Sesame Workshop, he says. So he's like mad that this shrinkflation message got out on Sesame Street And he said they need to live in their own pure world, not our world. Now, on Sesame Street, there are humans. So, like, our worlds collide there, like the human world and the the stuffed animal world. Um, Stuffed animal, I say loosely. I mean, you know, just like the the Sesame Street world, the puppet world. Um, And I think that, like, it would be really weird, kind of, if there was something super major going on in the world that absolutely was having an impact on kids. The pandemic is a great example. And just not mentioning it all. Right. Like, of just course. not not bringing it up at all. And the kids would be like, how come they're not doing it on TV? Like how co-? Kids would be like, I, I feel a disconnect from my life and what I, the thing that I'm watching. Uh, and it's very confusing for mm. children, especially yeah. you know, if we're using the pandemic subject. It's like, you know, you leave it up to the parents to explain that. But think about all the adults who had no idea what the hell was going on at that time. And if you can get a puppet to be like, all right, kids, this is our very fluffy version of saying that things are going down right now. And it <laughs> takes a little bit of weight off parents' shoulders, and I am all for it. You know what okay. I also hate, too, is that he immediately said that Jim Henson wouldn't have liked that. Then he should have shut down Sesame Street before he passed away. Like, yeah, he's or, been or, gone or, for 40 years left, now. Fritz, or left, like... Jim Henson's rules for Sesame sure. Street, like uh, enshrined in, you know, gold. Never, ever should the characters do X, Y, and Z. And then you would know. Otherwise, you're doing, and I think Fritz is right to point this out, you're like interpreting for Jim Henson. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he may well have 100% been for this or not for this, but uh, otherwise, you're just like trying to view it through his lens and judging. People do that with Walt Disney too. Yeah, yeah. Like, Walt Disney would be rolling in his grave. I don't do this out loud, but um, uh, I, I often think of uh, what, what Steve Jobs would think of the stuff that comes out like these days from Apple, mm-hmm. just because he was so like nitpicky about the weirdest things. Like the iPhone was 100 percent not to have a stylus. Yeah, like, he hated the stylus. An Apple Pencil came around. It looks very <laughs> stylus guys. Uh, yeah, these things, the more time that goes by, the less they say what would Steve Jobs do or what would Walt Disney do or any of these other things. But I think it's so much about what you think is going to happen when they, they approach a subject like that. Like, there's people who would say, how dare you? How dare you encourage kids to wear a mask like Celine was saying? 
But if you said, oh, we're going to have an episode of Sesame Street, and they're going to be like, Joe Biden ruined the economy. They'd be like, well, of course. <laughs> kids should know was that. an inside job, yeah. but according like, to some of your parents. If they agreed with the message, then they'll be gung-ho about it, and they'll be all for it. Uh, it's, it's Elmo like, says a, jet fuel does not make, melt steel <laughs> beans. <laughs> <laughs> like, here's another example. There's people who would be like, I don't want any of this messaging. Get all this woke stuff out of my kids' cartoons. And they'd be like, oh, did you hear about this new religious cartoon that only reinforces stereotypes that show that America is a great place with no problems and Jesus is, is Lord and Savior? And they're like, hell yeah, I and want white. my kid to watch that. Like, I want my kid to tune in that. It, it's only about always being reinforced with the things that you already believe. I think it's okay for them to talk about things that are ever present in our life. The problem is so few places seem to be able to do this with a delicate hand. It's generally very clunky and it's generally like the political ideology of one radical side. Radio Michael seven earlier mentioned that Mr. Rogers talked about the JFK assassination. Did he? And I think that if anybody was to be able to kind of uh, treat that w- with the, the perfect way to say to kids, mm. I think it'd be him, you know, like uh, right. he would have the right tone. He would have the right delivery. He would have the right approach was the uh, most important part. And, and there were times when that kind of stuff can be actually useful. And again, we'll go back to examples. When I was a kid, and this wasn't weird me, this when was, I was like... was a young warthog. When, when I was the youngest of warthogs, when people were talking about the AIDS epidemic as it was just starting to blow up and, you know, you got gay cancer yeah. and all this stuff. Don't even look at a gay person because you'll yes. get AIDS. Yes, the people, it was a commonly held belief that if you were just, if you were in the same restaurant where a gay man, because generally that's what was involved here, um, had used their silverware or something, like, people would be scared of that. And right about that and it took people it took all sorts of different things in popular culture explaining to folks like hey uh this is not how it works right like this is not what happens here and eventually you go oh okay you, know, you change your mind on but, these things but my husband all of a sudden got hiv mm-hmm. it must have been obviously from using the same toilet uh, and not his secret life sometimes that was a real handy excuse really convenient over to a movie that they're trying to say, it's bad timing. You can't do this. We can't have this in the theater right now. And I'm kind of looking forward to this, so all you can shut your goddamn mouth. Whoa. I want to watch this movie. It's another A24 movie. Nice. And I'm in. it's uh, Civil War is the one. I've seen some of the trailers for I'm it. I'm sorry, that was what they said was too soon? Yeah, they're saying like... Because we're so going to be in one? Yeah, they're like... Uh, they're, it was a, it's a modern Civil War. There are soaring fears of an actual civil war, so putting the movie Civil War in theaters is inappropriate. There have been movies that have been incredibly poorly timed. Uh, Back to my example pile, all right? I'm going to keep digging into that today. One was right after there was a tiny little story about a younger man by the name of Trayvon Martin and a community watch guy by the name of, or wannabe community watch guy by the name of George Zimmerman, Mm -hmm. they were just about to launch a movie called Neighborhood Watch. Oh, yeah. I think it was a Seth Rogen movie, and the plot was just, like, uncomfortably similar to something that had gotten people all riled up. And they said at the time, put it on ice, and then the movie never got the release that it really was supposed to. They renamed the movie, I believe... Uh, I I forgot exactly how the one-two punch of that whole thing Wait, played out. Are you out. talking about what became The Watch? That's what they changed yeah. it to? With Ben That's... Stiller and Vince Vaughn? Oh, never mind. I thought Seth Rogen was in it. Okay, so Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn. What's it say the plot of the movie? Was? Oh, Jonah Hill was in it. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, it was like written an, by Seth Rogen. There's like an okay. alien or something. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. but it was about, it centered on like a community watch kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And it, there were, it was Close enough to this George Zimmerman. Be, oh, my God, we can't do that. And now it's like, well, we're on the verge. We're not on the verge of civil war. Stop listening to Tim Pool and a bunch of other morons online. Go outside, take a deep breath, touch the grass, enjoy yourself. Everybody's going to be okay, right? Uh, but I do want to see this movie because it sounded kind of cool. And I was wondering, like, how are they going to make this not 
MAGA people against like the yeah, but you saw the same thing at the hunt. Like, remember yes. that movie? The hunt was the purge. I think one of the most recent installments was that mm-hmm. same thing. So, is that going to be all that different, or is it because it's so perfectly timed? Well, they tried timed? to stop that too. No, they tried to stop that movie too. I th- think it still came out, and that was one of the hilarious examples because the movie actually was making the opposite point. Right. The movie. The movie was like, don't don't go after people based on their political views. Otherwise, that was what makes you the most monstrous of monstrous people. And, and they just happen to have a lot of guns. Yes. And and but people miss that. They're like they just see the obvious dodo point on the face of it. But Civil War, the way they got around making this about left versus right, red versus blue, whatever, is they said like California was banding up with Texas. So you've got like, you know, two states that you might have put on different sides and you put them together. Uh, Let's see what you think about all of this and more. And we'll go over to a couple of dispatches from the newsjunkie.com where you chime in and tell us what you're thinking. Here's Mr. Fubar talking about St. Martin Island. Hey, Sean. Hey. Don't forget about the island of St. Martin in uh, the Caribbean. Uh, Saint Martin belongs to France, and Saint Martin's belongs to the Netherlands. Uh, it's not even its own country, uh, the island, um, and it's a real pretty country, both sides of it. We both should the take French it over. And the yeah. Dutch side. <laughs> Look how easy it would be. Take care. Love you, everybody. Uh, thank you, Mr. Fubar. Appreciate you. That's, That's one, one of those my, ones. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, uh, speaking about uh, Hawaii, like if California and Texas banded together, you know, Hawaii from the get go has said that they are an, an independent country and then United States kind of like took it over. Right. But mm-hmm. if we were to give Hawaii back to to them now, mm-hmm. other other countries would just swoop in. Somebody would take Hawaii. <laughs> um, it's too good. Immediately. Yeah, it's too good. It's too attractive out there. Uh, that's always an interesting thing when that conversation comes up too. Like for instance, uh, Puerto Rico is often embroiled in this because Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory, uh, much like Guam is. We talked about Guam earlier on in the show. And American and, Samoa. And American mm-hmm. Samoa, yeah. And Puerto Rico, people will be like, "Yeah, let's make them a state." And you go, "Well, I, I'm almost positive there's something that now requires you to. If you're going to do it, you have to make two places a state at the same time, so that you stay like on an even keel." With the states. So then there was people who were going, let's make Puerto Rico a state and we're going to make Washington, D.C. a state at the same time, which you explicitly can't do because of the U.S. Constitution. Mm-hmm. Washington, D.C. is not allowed to be a state. So all of those things are like super fun conversations that I think make people's brains go. And so will this movie. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be good. Everybody just takes to being way too serious about things sometimes. Uh, okay. Um, Sam on YouTube says, Get woke, Sean. They just want you to believe everything is okay. Duh, sarcasm mostly. Uh, Jeff says, doesn't wokeness stop at the Florida border? I've heard that. I've heard that that's the case. It's just a hard stop right there. Uh, yeah. You cannot go past. As soon, yeah. as, soon as you lay your eyes on the sign under welcome that says Governor Ron DeSantis, <laughs> that's when... That's when you that's when you go back to sleep, I think, right? What's Ron DeSantis going to do? Now he's got to go back into, like, non-president territory. Uh, but he can take off the heels, which is nice. Yeah. he's He's got to change it up now because he is uh, just maybe going to go for a, another round at the governorship or I don't, I don't know. I don't know who's going to run in four years. Hopefully we'll get rid of both these old folks Speaking in of four heels, years. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy some lifts. Are you? Yeah. yeah. You push up a little bit? Recently saw a show and I couldn't even see the band. I'm like, that's it. I'm going to be 6'8 when I go to shows. Okay. Own. In your defense, everybody uh, who, after you posted this, was like, that place. Oh, sucks. Yep. For, for, it's for not, content. they actually reached out to me and they're like, we, we would like to know why. I'm like, oh, buddy. Oh, no, did they? Yeah, they did. <laughs> Sucks. Uh, I mean, there's Fritz a particular that. part that you can get some great viewing, but for everyone else, like it always seems like they've really packed it in they, here. Yeah, it's like I've, I don't know if it was sold out or not, but it was the same damn for, close. Uh, just okay, I'll tell you that much. I have not ever been there except for one time, and I believe I was there with Sabrina and C Lane. And uh, what show was that? Uh, Steel Panther. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, yeah. So it was a steel band. We had a perfect view of that. Yeah, and but that was the last time that thing was ever going to happen. At that, <laughs> no, yeah. that place. They were like, "Oh, different animal." Uh, uh, we, we didn't know. We didn't Google this band enough. 
Okay, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll talk about this speed dating thing. You have a lot of opinions on everything else we've been discussing, Sesame Street or otherwise. And scientists have a message for us as an asteroid gets closer and closer and closer to Earth. What's happening? That is coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Watch out for an accident causing a bit of congestion where John Young Parkway meets 33rd Street and onto some of the major roadways. Traffic is up to speed on State Road 429 in the Greenway and it's pretty mellow on Florida's Turnpike. Eastbound and westbound on I-4 expect delays between US-27 and approaching Sand Lake Road. See traffic troubles? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For over 35 years, my mission has been to deliver more for our clients. Today, Morgan & Morgan has more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. WJRR presents the Brightside Music Festival April 27th, taking over the Central Florida Fairgrounds for the highly anticipated return of Sublime featuring Jacob Knoll, along with Eric Wilson and Bud Gaw, plus special guest 311 along with Goldfinger and plenty more to be announced. Get tickets at brightsidefest.com. That's brightsidefest.com. Hey, homeowners, Russ Rollins here to talk to you about something serious, your power bill. Last summer was tough, but this year could be even worse. So don't wait until the last minute to get protection and savings from solar power and backup power. SolarSource has a new pay-as-you-go solar package that lets you start with an affordable base system and add solar panels over time. Plus, their pay-as-you-go battery backup is awesome, and it lets you add critical backup power as you go. Schedule a free consultation at Solar SolarSource.com slash monsters. Get ready for a stress-free summer. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's injury attorneys. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. 
Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at Dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's Dell.com slash deals. A Fifth Third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a Fifth Third better. That's what a Fifth Third better means. This is banking a Fifth Third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. Mr. and Mrs. Flavor, thank you for joining us. Great to be here. I'm Barry. I'm the flavor of Barry. I'm Janet. I'm bitter. You wanted to talk about your son. He's the flavor menthol? Yes. He's the menthol in a menthol cigarette. He's such a disappointment. Out there getting people addicted. Being used by big tobacco to target black people. He could have been a lozenge. Menthol cigarettes are just as addictive as regular cigarettes and harder to quit. Find out how to quit today at TobaccoFreeFlorida.com. Love podcasts? Pull out your phone right now, open the free iHeartRadio app, and check out these podcasts. History on Trial. Only 30 minutes to put her body in the well. Dateline NBC. The first big clue in the mystery. Mission Impossible. The means to keep down what was then called the third world. Listen today on the iHeartRadio app. More than just the best radio, it's your favorite podcasts, too. And best of all, it's absolutely free. iHeartRadio. Pick orange for your next vehicle. OrangePuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. Documenting and contributing to the decline in American culture. This. Time. I forget we're 10 days away, less than that now. Well, you know, just about that. For Just OK 8, which oh, is at Plaza Live, it's going to be a big, fun event. And we want you there. So go to realradio.fm slash just OK and grab your tickets whenever you get a chance so you can support the show and see us out there next Saturday. Going to be fun. Uh, we'll see. I got to get caught Excited up on to some hang stuff. out with our, uh, our Mills Air brethren. Oh, hell That'll be yeah. fun, man. Yeah, yeah. Mills Air, the presenting sponsor of Just OK 8. And we also got to say, you guys are going to be blown away by our friend who always really raises the bar, and that's DJ Digital. Oh, uh, yeah. The very first one to be. He's been all yeah. yeah, yeah. He's been at, like, ev almost every single one of these no, events. every single one. It was just the, was our he? first one. He was there at Finn's when we took half the bar man. and had that weird meat hook um Thing, thing happened, and then you got slapped three times by with a girl with three boobs. So uh... there was some, yeah. There's been some weird times over the years. I'm surprised he hasn't abandoned us at any point and just said the DJ Digital brand not uh, allowed to. Yeah, it was like I want to, I want to clean up the DJ Digital brand a little bit more than you guys are willing to let me here. See you. Uh, but he's going to be there uh, as always, and going to be throwing down a huge party for everybody. We love him. And we're excited to, to get everything going. We've got more details for you. Some secrets dropping on Friday. Mm, and then some more stuff next week. And then, you know, we'll just like let you know what's happening. But if you haven't done anything fun in a while, let this be it. When you go look at the ticket prices over on the website, everything's all included. That's all your fees and everything bundled up into it. And make a night of it. There's going to be food trucks out there. You can like leave the inside of the venue, walk out one door on the side of the venue. Mm -hmm. then, and then there's a bunch of roped, uh, roped off food trucks. Get some food. Come back inside. Do your thing. And, you know, it's it's a great experience. And so. after a, a very mashed potato brain, slightly buzzed um, moment of mine, mm -hmm. Savvy's Little Helpers will also have some 
fun gifts that we'll okay. be throwing out into the crowd. By the way, right. um, I, I did something that I've never, ever done before. I recently spent about $240 on brand new drum heads. Oh, and yeah. They're, and they're pink. Oh, <laughs> nice. Remo, Remo does this, like, color tone series, and I was like, oh, let's see if they have, oh, my God, they do. And I bought all brand new drum heads. Uh, well, we I don't got... think I ever bought a drum head unless I broke one. Well, yeah. I mean, it's really hard to break one. Oh, you don't rock hard. Challenge accepted. <laughs> I, I, think drunk, I think drunk sea land on the drums could do it, too. <laughs> They're just, like, pounding away on Probably, those things. Yeah. Uh, okay, I let's play. I'm gonna go superstar and just grab it and stab it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Throw it out into the crowd. Guaranteed break. <laughs> Put it on the bill. Uh, let's pay off some of these teases here. Scientists are urging calm as they generally do. They say a big old piece of space rock is set to come uncomfortably close to planet Earth, with scientists studying exactly what chance there is of it hitting the planet we call our home. Heard that. The asteroid, it actually has a name this time. Okay, that's kind of scary. Apophis, A-P-O-P-H-I-S. Apophis. It's set to closely pass our planet on two occasions in the next 12 years. Once two in times. 2029, yep. Yeah, it's and, that crazy one that uh, circles, at, like it goes all the way out to Neptune, I think, and then it slingshots right back around our, our sun. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's scary. You know how many times yeah. he's gotten laid off of that fax, Elaine? You're, Come on. You're, you're going to say Fritz is a nerd until all of a sudden they're like, no, Fritz is right. The asteroid <laughs> is actually headed for us. And Celine's going to go back, tell uh, me uh, everything. Did you say already how big it is compared to um, how many elephants, uh, football fields, buses? They first found it 20 years ago, and they quickly labeled it one of the more dangerous threats to Earth. Oh, 20 it years ago. It is 340 back. meters in diameter. And it will pass us on both occasions, uh, uh, Apophis will, and not collide with us. What Usually the, when they what, say this. How far apart are the two occasions? Uh, it, one is in 2029 and one is in 2036. Oh, we'll oh. be dead by then for sure. And by closely, it means that in space terms, it'll be 38,000 kilometers away from the planet. So This is British talk that us th- Americans can't do. That's close in, in space terms, but let's say it's 20,000 miles away. That's still pretty far out. It's mm-hmm. not close in, like, airplane terms. No, no. Okay, it's, but it's is it close space. enough that, like, one, you know, a couple more kilometers and it gets into the suck zone? I don't know. As What's they the call suck it? zone? <laughs> this, this, so, yeah, this one actually is a different one that I'm thinking of. Let, let me look up the one that, that I'm thinking of. So this is even scarier, I guess, because it's like it's our neighbor, and it kind of it it revolves around us. All right, Space Wars, let's go blow it up. Come on. Uh, what, are they, what are they doing out there? The space guy told us that they were the real deal. I believe them. We we're gonna see. Ask, can we get him back on and ask if yeah. we're going to die? Yeah. yeah, we can get yeah. that guy back on. <laughs> uh, well, I would say it's a two-minute interview. Just want to double-check we're not going to die. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. And then see you later again. <laughs> ben, ben Franklin-looking dude. Like that guy. Uh, and also, here's the other one I wanted to pay off before we get the updates on Madeline Soto and what's happening with that case. They said seven men and six women scattered around a tiny Irish pub in a sleepy San Francisco neighborhood. A woman with a sleek ponytail and a jade blouse posts up at the bar. All of this shows you that speed dating is back in favor again. I okay. said many 20 somethings and 30 somethings hate all the apps so much. Maybe they've swiped all the rights and swiped all the oh, left. You can't afford it. Now they're saying they want to go on these speed dates, <laughs> which. I've never done that, and it seems so uncomfortable to me. I have a friend who recently did some speed dating. And recently? Yeah. Uh, did it work I mean, out? I don't think she really... There might have been, like, one person that, that they kind of matched up with, but I, I don't I know like if they I like the idea of, like, if I, you know, we're single, obviously, that it's just, it's quick. But yeah. I would have to go with somebody. And, like, mm-hmm. also get the, hey, this is, it's chill. You should go. Right. Because but, the apps suck. Uh, I've never been on a blind date. I can't imagine doing that at this time. No. As like, blind date seems like way too much buy in yeah. for not knowing what the experience is going to be exactly. like. Yeah, that's why it's now like a reality show and not a, a thing that regular people do anymore. Uh huh. Yeah. The, the, actually, speed dating seems like one of the better options because you get to meet 10 people in maybe an hour or something. And maybe you feel just at least a little bit of a connection with one of them. And then I think the way it works is afterwards. 
you say whether you had a connection or not. And if both parties say that, then they connect you with your email or your phone oh, number. I didn't know or, that part. I think um, that's how it works. I, um, I, I had a friend. Uh, the I, smash fronts. I have, a, <laughs> I have a friend that used to bartend at a place that did like a weekly or maybe monthly speed dating event at the yeah. bar. And she said there was a regular that would get hammered drunk during speed dating and well, surprise, never really matched up with anybody. <laughs> and at some point, he like was just sitting at the bar and was like, do you want to go out with me? And she's like, hell no, you loser. You, you strike out at speed dating every God. week. Yeah. <laughs> and you're not understanding that it's it's not them, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, but I paid for this. I signed up. Uh, oh, God. Okay, quick break. When we come back, final dispatches, stories that didn't make the cut. And today I learned to wrap up a Wednesday. Also, those Madeline Soto updates to start things off. That's coming up next on the News Chunky. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. Hey! Don't come around. weekend on Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast for the rest of our Wednesday. And for today, some of us will see some scattered showers and a few thunderstorms. Some of these could be on the strong side, especially for areas south and east of the Orlando metro. Some of these could also contain some heavy downpours, small hail and gusty winds. Temperatures, though, will be on the warm side throughout this afternoon, climbing into the upper 70s and low 80s for highs. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This free report is sponsored by ExpressPros.com. Let Express Employment Professionals help you hire for contract or full-time jobs. Forget about posting jobs, sifting through resumes, and interviews with unqualified applicants. Go to ExpressPros.com to find the location near you. That's ExpressPros.com. For more information about contests on this station, go to RealRadio.fm slash rules. Sneezing, coughing, a stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then, a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navaj immediately. This thing is amazing. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Hey, Orlando, are you looking for new ways to save? Well, on Verizon, you don't need to be on a family plan to get our best deals. Switch to Verizon, and for a limited time, plans start at just $50 per month for a single line with auto pay plus taxes and fees when you bring your own phone with unlimited welcome. That's a savings of $15 per month. And when you switch now, you can save on the things you love to stream, like Netflix and Max. There's never been a better time to switch to the network America relies on. A better plan to save is Verizon. This offer won't last long. Visit your local Verizon store to switch and save big today. $180 BYOD promo credit per phone applied over 36 months for new customers with one new line with your own 4G or 5G smartphone on unlimited welcome plan required. $360 local promo credit applied over 36 months for new customers with one new line. Additional terms apply in select markets only. Auto pay and paper free billing required. For unlimited welcome plan in times of congestion, unlimited 5G and 4G LTE may be temporarily slower than other traffic. Domestic data roaming at 2G speeds. Let's talk real risks and real safety for a sec. Right now, banks are juggling debts under the radar. Commercial properties, cars, credit cards they're owed on. It's a bit much, right? Makes you think about the big 08 crash. But there's a smoother way to handle your finances. I've turned to gold and silver. Traditional? Sure. Reliable? Absolutely. Not just shiny objects. Some stability in these uncertain times. Interested in exploring this path? Noble Gold Investments can guide you. They know their stuff about pressure 
precious metals for IRAs and 401ks. And here's a little nudge. A quarter ounce gold standard coin free with a qualifying account only this month. Invest with the folks at Noble Gold Investments. Claim your free gold coin and secure your family's financial future. Just use the promo code GOLD. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com now. noblegoldinvestments.com. Past performance may not be indicative of future results. Investing in precious metals, including gold, involves risks. Consult with your tax attorney or financial professional before making an investment decision. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the Injury Law Firm of Kaufman and Lind. Whenever you hear the words, this call is being recorded, understand this is not for your benefit. In my experience representing thousands of clients over 25 years, I have seen insurance companies use these recordings to deny responsibility and avoid paying medical expenses. Let your attorney do your talking for you. Contact us at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 office Orlando paid for by government.com here's your chance to get five iconic United States silver dollars spanning the last 150 years in one amazing set experts agree this is a must-have for silver coin buyers that's right all five silver dollars are legal tender official United States mint coins if you call 1-800-386-7194 right now we'll send you this ultimate five-piece American silver dollar set with each silver coin in extremely fine or brilliant uncirculated condition guaranteed this set includes every type of US silver dollar Dollars in American history issued from 1878 to 2024. Call 1 800 386 7194 now to secure your 150 years of U.S. silver dollars five piece set. Plus, receive a bonus display case, an information booklet, and free shipping. Don't miss your chance. Call 1 800 386 7194 now to secure your five piece set of iconic U.S. silver dollars before they are gone. That's 1 800 386 7194. In this week's Marketers Report, we learn about the value of local influencers in uncertain times from Allison Griffin, head of marketing at State Farm. The economy is tough for everyone. And taking a step back and understanding the pain that your customers are currently going through because of a tough environment is really important. We have 19,000 agents across the country, and they understand what's going on in those very unique communities iHeart has such a broad broadcast reach that is local, connected, and for us to be able to touch customers with a local feel but at a national scale is so efficient and important for us. As the number one audio company, iHeart Media gives marketers access to all, from national to local, every audience, live conversations, trusted influencers, and the insights and data you need to grow. Not just a media company, iHeart Media is your access company. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For over 35 years, my mission has been to deliver more for our clients. Today, Morgan & Morgan has more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Join us Monday night for our 2024 iHeart Podcast Awards. Presented by the Hartford, live at South by Southwest. We'll honor the very best in podcasting from the past year and celebrate the most innovative talent and creators in the industry. Listen Monday night, starting at 11 p.m. right here. Presented by the Hartford Small Business Insurance. Learn more or start a quote at thehartford.com slash smallbusiness. With insurance designed for your small business, the Bucks got your back. Find your new career. The Florida Jobs Now Job Fair, March 13th at the Orlando Science Center. More info at fljobsnow.com. Watching the world burn with some friends since 2007. This... that didn't make the cut and today I learned to wrap everything up for a Wednesday uh, how are we giving those uh, uh, I am away? just getting those words oh uh, yeah so that um, is a uh, post-show text but 
some possible very exciting announcement. Uh, I, mean, I just that would be a, a good. We, somebody's really got to do something big for that. at just okay. That's great that's value. Not like, I'll tell you that much. That's not like raise your hand if you want. This. No, like, that's by no be means. Like, no, I, I have an idea, but I definitely have to confirm if we have the green light to do that. But right now, I'm at like 88 percent of a uh, good to go. Okay. All right. So, so, there, there, there you there's go. Some... Lots of teases for you, listeners. Well, I don't want to be so vague about is it. Is there going to be a headbutt contest? Yeah, yes, there's yeah. going to be How a headbutt. How did you know? <laughs> it's, but it's, and it's going to be a crotch contest oh, where you just we run. Oh, yeah. I, 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 for <laughs> best crotch, I've won this contest before. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you took that to best crotch? Yeah, yeah the crotch contest. <laughs> no, we're just going to slam crotches, and whoever wins, wins this. Yeah, now's the time to get your tickets, folks. Do, do not miss out on, on any of this stuff here as we get ready to wrap things up on a lovely yeah. Wednesday. Listen Thank tomorrow you. for sure, and I'll, I, I hope to have the word in, but there is what seems to be a very big giveaway that we'll have at Just Okay 8. Okay, that's cool. I'm excited about that. Uh, Fritz, we love you. We appreciate you hanging out with us today, as always. I love you. See you on March 16th, my guy. Yeah. yeah. We can paint drum time. heads. Oh, no, we and... still have one more Fritz on the street, don't we? Yeah, yeah, we, we got another one next. We got a whole week ahead of us here. We got so all excited. kinds of things. Um, what day let's, is it? Let's work in the final dispatches. Here is Guitar Slinger talking about Civil War. Yeah. It's funny, the same people that talk about Civil War, usually a lot of them are people that have quite a few guns and a lot of ammo stockpiled in case we have to rise up against government mm -hmm. or have a Civil War. The problem with that thinking is if the federal government perceives you as a genuine threat, They'll send a drone over yeah. and bomb you into next century. It's okay? annihilate it's you. not going to do you any good. You won't even see it coming. Uh, that's. I heard somebody who lives in Ukraine, and this was crazy to hear, and they said that uh, this week there was a drone attack, and it was right near their city. And the person said, oh, my God, you know, I feel really bad for everybody who was killed in, in this strike. And they were just that that type of Ukrainian person who's just very matter of fact about something. Mm -hmm. And they said with these drone strikes, the person who dies had no idea it was coming. They didn't know. It wasn't uh. like you go, Oh no, there's an incoming thing. And they said, it's just, you're there one minute and you're not there the next minute. That's how fast those strikes happen. God, that's and, terrifying to think about. Yeah. Considering like you're just a civilian walking. There's, there's no incoming warning. And then they said the weirdest thing is you can hear the drones sometimes outside your building. Like, like is that a vibrator? Or and then you don't know, is that right outside? Or is that like you know, too far? Did you see the uh, the story about, I think it was in maybe in Japan or in, in China or something like that. But drug dealers have taken to delivering their drugs with drones. Yeah. And then the police found Why out not? about it. So now that they have they have drones that have nets. And then the drug dealers also got other drones to stop the net drones. And they're like, this is the most fun we've had to stop crime. They like, <laughs> they like drop a weight in the net, you know, yeah. to weigh down the drones. The and war like, on drugs no just got... No one's dying, but it seems like a good time, sure. Yeah, it's, it's way more exciting I've now. told you guys before that when I, when I first got the drone and I was looking at accessories and stuff for it, on Amazon you can buy a thing that's a payload dropper. Where mm -hmm. you like hit a button like you would be unlocking your car and it drops something from the drone. And it's like, ooh, for a cute proposal idea. I'm like, there is no way that that's not for <laughs> dropping drugs somewhere. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Tell me what it's for that's not Gender illegal. Reveal. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, wrap things up. We got the final stories here. Um, dispatch is all done. Uh, on Jennifer Soto, they said the story that Jennifer Soto gave law enforcement is not lining up with what investigators know about her daughter's disappearance and death. They said she uh, said that she initially uh, said she stated that she uh, had seen her daughter the morning of the girl's disappearance, um, and maybe that wasn't the case. Or actually, she well, said she saw it. on a boyfriend's um, phone, like images. Mom's from, boyfriend. Yeah, two, yeah, like two years ago. Yes. Yeah. So there was some some very questionable stuff on mother's boyfriend's <laughs> phone. And also, there was some inconsistencies on behalf of mom's statements to law enforcement. Right. When, when did she last see her daughter? And FDLE is now looking into how that investigative crime scene photo was posted on social media accidentally. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's do Today I Learned. The following information may make you feel smarter, but will not actually increase your IQ. 
so don't get cocky. Now it's time for what we call today. For Wednesday, March 6, 2024. Today, I learned this band right here. Oh, no. uh, Guns N' Roses. That's right, Fritz. Boys. It is Guns N' Roses. And this album, I remember this from my childhood. Both of those. Despite selling 500,000 copies in its first two hours and going seven times platinum, Guns N' Roses Use Your Illusion 1 and 2 albums were considered to have underperformed sales expectations. I like wow. these albums. Yeah, they're oh, so great. good. Estranged, I, like I hated them. Estranged is one of my all-time favorite songs. And Civil lots. War. Yeah, there's lots of good songs on both of those albums. All right. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We do appreciate it. We're back tomorrow, same time, same place. Missed any of the show? Go to the podcast at thenewsjunkie.com. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Yeah.